So, hey. <laughs> Hello. I have some tunes today that aren't the games. Also, I'm in the menu, yeah. I just started in the menu because I have so many mods that it kind of takes a while to properly load in a file. Like, it makes it so that the game stops responding briefly because it's like I gotta load in your 80 mods. It's kind of a lot. But anyway, we still have our 15 parsnips, so we're, we'll start with that. But yeah, I have tunes today because I couldn't exactly get the game music to work. Like it kept, it was, um, it's muted, but it's okay. Everything is working as expected, pretty much. Spirits are slightly perturbed today, but I just... This is day one. And they're already upset with me. So yeah. This is a custom farm that I downloaded. I literally only downloaded this last night because I saw it on... The recent mods page on Nexus. It looked cute, and so I wanted it. I gotta do something about these trees in my way. First and foremost, they're kind of annoying, and I need to make a chest anyway. Yeah, honestly, I was really just craving the feeling of planting your first 15 parsnips on the very first day when you have 500 gold, like, this is the pinnacle of a new beginning. I'm very excited. Get these watered. I need to definitely get my 50 wood to make my chest. And then that should around when Pierre's opens. This farm is so pretty. I've literally not explored anything, any of it. I just made a file and was like, yep, that's good enough. I got it. There's like mountains in the background. The spouse's area is here to the left of the farm. Truly reinventing the wheel. Oh, and there are like mine carts around. You can see one down to the left. This is gonna be so fun. I literally couldn't be more excited. Oh, and there's also forageable. Okay. Um, let's just dump all of this in. Oh, I am not used to playing on PC. I usually play Stardew on my Switch. That's what I usually stream it on to. I think the farm exit, well, it's gonna be to the right. But I'd guess, oh my God, I have a sign? Up is mountain, right is my farm. Or left is my farm, wow. Imagine knowing directions, and then, what? What? I just clicked on this and I was like, to interact with it, but no, it actually, it works? Wait, I thought that was the totem thing that I, just teleport me back to the, what? You know what I mean. So I guess the warp totem is somewhere else on the farm. Okay, that makes my life so much easier. I can just teleport from my farm entrance to my house. Brilliant. I want, like, a lot of forageables, too. I think I have everything except horseradish for the bundles. Except, except, that doesn't matter. Because there's no chance that'll be part of the bundles that I have. It's gonna be Morris's birthday on the second. Ugh, Morris. 
So I have played a little of Expanded already, so I know a little bit about it. And I know for a fact that Morris's favorite gifts are things that I have no chance of obtaining. Absolutely none. Oh, Gus, why- <laughs> I just keep <laughs> interacting with Gus and he keeps telling me the same things over and over like- Get the point? Can I keep shopping now? Sorry! <laughs> Sorry to bug you. Aww. Okay, what do I want from you, Mr. Pierre? I... I don't know. I don't think it matters. Oh, also, look, look, look. If I scroll down, first of all, there's a hand mirror. But also, there's like all these extra seeds. There's basil, cabbage, onion, passion fruit. There's tons of new trees, too. I have a lot of like... PPJA stuff added. Some chamomile. So I guess I could start with some of this. I don't know, does it matter? There's like meat? I don't know, I meant to take the meat out, but it's here now. Uh, I think the meat might be broken. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Um, let's start with just some basic stuff. Maybe potatoes could be good. I wanna buy some of the new stuff too, but I have 500 gold. Hmm. Honestly, it doesn't matter, so I don't know. I guess... I guess we could just start with potato, because I literally don't know what's going to be in the bundle, and I can get an even 10. That just, that feels right to me. I can search through trash cans. I'd love to. Ugh, Alex. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're gonna get along great. No, we won't. I hate you. Evelyn, though. Oh, Hello and welcome to our little community. You can call me Granny. I will. I will call you Granny. You. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. I know your name. I know everything about you, George. This is the first time you're meeting me, but this is around the hundredth time I'm meeting you. There's nothing you could do that would surprise me. Okay, should I head home and plant my potatoes instead of terrorizing the townspeople? Probably, and then we can like forage around the rest of the day. Forging in Expanded is so nice because there's so much extra stuff around. There's like a whole extra part of the forest. Oh. You know what? I'm not gonna walk all the way over there like a peasant when I have my teleportation thingy. Yes. And I feel powerful. Okay, and then... Oh, and then I can just plant another row of ten and it'll look so nice. Love that. Also love that the um, pet bowl is right up there to the right where I will see it and not forget about it next to the... I presume this is something I can get water from out of my watering can? I don't know. Okay, let's go. No, let's water. I always forget to water. As I was saying. Okay, so there's a chance that we might lose some of our crops, but that's fine. It's a risk I am willing to take. Oh, hey. <laughs> in the sentence in the cave scene. Placed modifier because the way the sentence is formed makes it seem like Steve is in the cage. Yeah, that is that was my interpretation actually, that Steve was in the cage. That did seem like an English question. Exam or something. I just- I also just kind of thought you were being strange for talking about Steve who's in a cage with his hamster. But I wasn't about to judge or anything. Okay, I did look around the bus stop, but... I guess I should have gone up to the mountains to... forage. Oh, I am so low on energy, too. How did that happen? Oh, because I chopped wood for a chest and planted stuff. Yes, it's all coming together now. Abby, please talk to me. Hello. Oh, she is so cute. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new is moving onto that old farm. 
Yeah, that's me. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. I cannot believe the first time she meets you, she's like, uh, it's kind of a shame you moved in. Like, Jazz says the same thing or something. And it's just so rude. Oh my, aren't you a cutie? Welcome to the valley. It's so exciting when someone new moves in. Aw, you're sweet. Have you met my son, Victor? No. I just got here. I have to talk to all the townies. Yeah, I'm Juniper. It's so cute how your arrival makes waves in the community. Not exactly how I pictured, but that's okay. Yeah. I'm cute. Oh, I talked to you already. Sorry, Evelyn. You can keep minding your own business, and I will keep minding mine. I'm actually going to head down to the beach. Get some early forageables. Oh, this is so fun. I love how the map changes. Like, there's a whole extra path to the left. Incredible. And then there are beach forageables. Okay, I could check all the trash cans today, but I might just check museum and blacksmith instead of going all the way up to Joja and everything else. I wanted to check more, but like there are people around and I want to make sure they don't, you know, get the wrong impression of me. Well, maybe it would be the right impression because I do look through trash cans quite a bit, so they wouldn't be wrong <laughs> to think I scrounge, but I, I don't want them to know is the thing. Their opinion means a lot to me. But yeah, let's just head over to the left, head to the forest over there, and see what there is to see. Emily! Oh my god, Emily is so cute! In vanilla, they do Emily so dirty, because look how cute she could be with her, with her lesbian haircut! I love her! Oh. Emily is so cute. I married her recently in one of my saves that I was playing while I was traveling, and she is adorable. All of her cutscenes are so fun and colorful and kind of gay. I love her. And she's just so cute here. She looks like she's into fashion instead of just wearing some shapeless red dress. Anyway, if you're ever looking for something to do, stop by the saloon. Maybe I will. Cute girl. I have been sleeping on Emily. Okay. <laughs> but Emily is so underrated. She's so cute. She's also really easy to befriend. I find that I get her to eight hearts without even trying most of the time. And that's like kind of why I've never gone for her because she just seemed kind of, um, yeah. <laughs> for lack of a better word. Anyway, I'm not gonna go for her this time around. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for someone that's been added and expanded, probably the wizard, because, <laughs> because why wouldn't I, honestly? Why not? I have been wishing the wizard was a romanceable character since forever. And now that he finally is, am I really not going to shoot my shot? It's like right there. But yeah, that's what we're looking at. Um, <laughs> Usually people, I feel, go for Sophia when they download Expanded because she's the pink-haired quirky girl who's into cosplaying and you know, has anxiety. So we all relate to her. And she, I would too, but like the wizard right there. Oh, I missed some fiber, which is so important that I go back for. Okay, but also in this forest, there are so many trees. It's incredible. I always struggle so hard to get wood just I run out of trees I deforest cinder sap and I'm and then I'm like what now where's the rest there's this creepy house sure with a creepy doll I'll take it no one will be needing that some garbage literal trash and then Aurora vineyard bankrupt due to 
something. Stardew Valley, the effects of lower demand of crops, maybe? Local farmers are unable to find ven vendor or to sell. There's an expected. The Ferngill government has admitted a something to help farmers. Mayor Lewis, something something farmers of Stardew Valley. Uh... Okay, so I guess there used to be someone who lived here and went bankrupt and had to leave. Kitchen is completely overgrown. There's still dirty dishes, that's gnarly. There must be like mold growing on mold. Table is, looks fairly new, someone has been here recently? What do you mean? That is kind of the cleanest looking thing. The, ba the plastic bag has a Jojo logo on it, it hasn't been here long. Does someone think they can move into the creepy abandoned building? There are spiders living in the shelf, one waves to you. Oh, hello spider. And then I think that's a Junimo hut that's in construction. And then I can't go down here. The cellar is blocked by vines, can't enter. Well, I wonder if I could do anything about that. It's getting a little late, but I wanna keep going gonna be dark too Ugh. okay be prepared for me to run into walls because I can't see and by walls I mean trees just tons of trees tons of bushes in my path we're not even here to forage by this point I just want to explore a little bit but if we do see forageables I will for sure pick those up don't you worry can't pass up a forageable okay can I get through please Okay, not yet, apparently. Eventually. Wait, where, where do I get in from? Down here? Okay, down here. I don't know, hello? Okay, there's fiber in the way, apparently. That's fine. I thought I could get through the foresty part. Like there'd be a secret path for me. This fiber is a little, a little much. Hey, whatever that is, come to me. Oh, inventory full. Uh, soggy newspaper can go. I don't, I don't need that. Ancient sword. Um, I might have to come back. It's getting so dark. Well, obviously I'm gonna be back because um, this is a really great place to forage. Oh, the other thing about... Oh, okay. Um, make seeds can go. I want this back fill. But the other thing about Expanded is they make it so that mushrooms are a regular forageable kind of in each season. So it's kind... It would be more logical to go the fruit bat cave route, I think. Although I have a different layout for the, okay. okay, through please. But I have a different layout for the, for the, what is it called? The cave, the farm cave. So through everywhere might be a little inconvenient. Okay, I'm gonna come back later. It is too late for me. Little farmer girl is sleepy. I guess a lot of my time got eaten up by exploring that abandoned building. It's all the way over there to the left, too. Like, not even in the middle of town or close to town. Interesting. Which I guess is kind of true of my farm, too. All the other farms in Expanded are... Well, obviously, they kind of have to be a part of town, except Susan's, but still. it is oh we're gonna go up so we're gonna see if it's easy to traverse upwards to the farmhouse i don't know where i'm going i see stairs and i know the farmhouse is up i really did not take a close look at the layout before i was like yep this is the one i want it just looked pretty so i was like yep i'll take 
there wasn't actually that much debris in the way. That's kind of nice. I love that. I love not getting blocked constantly by debris in the darkness. Uh, just dump everything in and then sell you. I will sell you. And I'll sell two of you. Keep one just in case. And then I'll keep these for like gifting for now. Yeah, I'll do that. Oh, ah. And then that'll be my first little bit of money for this save file. Kind of nice, I'm already profiting. Also this farmhouse, I didn't comment on it at first, but it is so pretty, it's such a good layout. I do quite enjoy. I do really like modded farm layouts. Because then you- then they also have to put a little bit of effort into designing the starter farmhouse and some of the designs people come up with is so nice. Like, I get a dresser just to start off. Can I open it? Uh, okay, I can. <laughs> I thought it was just- Okay. This wasn't gonna work, but it did. It did. We're good. What's my fortune for the day? Something I've recently started doing is checking my fortune every day and basing my routine or my- uh, day around the daily luck and I think it's been it's been going well so far uh, spirits are somewhat annoyed okay sick. well luckily it's early enough that it doesn't really matter how the spirits feel so they can be as dramatic as they want because I can't go fishing or mining so it really doesn't matter it's just foraging Water all my crappies. Can't wait to get farming level one and make a scarecrow. Okay, I can get water from that. I was kind of doubtful. It looked like I could. So I'm glad because also I really, I don't know where any other water source is on this farm. I gotta be honest. I don't see a pond. I think there's definitely a river, but I don't know. Keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. Pierre, I know how much your backpack costs. I know it costs 2,000 gold, and I do not have that. I have 212 gold, so maybe later. Definitely not today. Oh, I can't get my fishing rod today. Okay, I'll do that. And I'll fish, I guess. It really doesn't matter. Oh, drop off the, drop off the watering can. Sure. Yeah. Oh, and I can donate stuff. We're gonna do that for sure. Oh, the greenhouse is right there. I just noticed. I probably should have clocked that sooner because it's kind of important to know where your greenhouse is. Okay, to the beach. I will try my hardest, Willy, to get there. First, I gotta stop by the museum. Show off what I have for Gunther. He'll be so pleased. He'll be like, you brought me a creepy doll and an ancient sword. And he'll be like, you just, you can't call a sword ancient just because it's rusty and you found it lying on the ground. And I'll be like, it says you. I mean, can he really be choosy when he has zero artifacts to display? No. Shane, please talk to me. Ooh, he actually looks kind of kind of fresh. It's subtle. Oh, wow. Ooh, he's looking nice. I don't know what it is because it's so subtle, but it it's getting me. Shane was like the first marriage candidate that I really fell for, so he still kind of holds a special place in my heart. As he says, I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? I'm sorry, buddy. I know. I know you're edgy or upset or whatever and you're taking it out on others it's fine i used to think i could fix him what can i say can you blame me also nine it took me so long to get over here oh broken cd great 
I love this area. Look how cute with the scarecrows. This is the Pelican Town Community Garden. I love that there are bee houses and crops and oh, that's so nice. I love Expanded because it makes Pelican Town feel like a community, you know? Hey, bestie. What are you looking at? Nothing? Literally abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. The glass cover makes it feel so special, like a real museum. What's this? You found something? Let me see it. Oh, he would probably have a southern accent, wouldn't he? He gives that vibe. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. Yeah, I can't really do a southern accent. <laughs> I wasn't trying, to be fair, but I'm not gonna. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We can make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows, if you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Oh, he's bribing me. How charming of him. Yeah, I'll take that offer. And off I go. As he looks down at his empty collection. Hoping I'll donate, but trying not to be too obvious about it. Okay, here you go. Um... Yep. That's what I have for you, buddy. Hope you like it. Oh, I got money from it, too. 250. I could buy more crops, but I could also save. Yeah, I'll save my money for now. Hey, Penny. Oh, Penny's so cute. She gets, like, pigtail buns. Penny. Oh, she's sweet. Never married her. Don't know anything about her. But she sure is sweet. And Vince? <laughs> oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama said not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Yeah, he's a smart one, isn't he? Let's go get my fishing rod already. Hey, Willie. Do you have what I came for? Ahoy there, miss. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. I do like Willy. I think he's a good guy. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the artificial stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Maybe. Probably I will. I'll buy a lot of, um, trappers and bobbers and stuff. And trout soup. He has trout soup that I'll probably want. It's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. Good catchphrase. I suppose. I don't really watch these cutscenes ever. Kind of nice to just, you know, pause and see what they have to say. I don't know. I think it's sweet to get to know people. Hey, Jazz. You're lagging a bit behind, aren't you? Hi. See, she's a suitable amount of shy. Vincent was like, I'll just warm up to you right away. Hey again, Emily. I work part-time at Gus's Saloon. It pays the bills. Good to know. Good to know. She has a job. You know how a lot of people complain about- Oh, I almost searched the trash can. Hey, Marnie. Ah, oh, Mary Lunas. Mary Lunas? Mary Lewis told me you just arrived. And she has a flower in her hair. I love these portraits. They are so subtle. Um, I used to have the anime- portrait mod installed, but since I added Stardew Valley Expanded, it it really doesn't mesh very well, so I much, much prefer these slight changes in the portraits instead that still try to stick to the original art style. And Marnie is so pretty. She truly is. I do like Marnie. 
I love her work-life balance. But anyway, as I was saying, people have this complaint where they're like, marriage candidates don't really have a life after you marry them. Like, Sebastian, for example, gives up on his dream of moving to the city and being a programmer or whatever, and so does Hay so do Haley and Alex, I believe. I've never married them. But yeah, you can interpret it that way if you wanted. Um, but Emily, Emily, what are you doing? Why are you walking? Oh, yes. So, um, <laughs> the Stardew expanded recolor that I have is kind of broken for Andy's house specifically. Also, I didn't say hi to you. Andy, please come back so I can say hi to you, please. Did you look at that? It's the new farmer everyone has been talking about. Finally moved to the valley, I see. I've been working Fairhaven Farm here for many years. It ain't much, but it's honest work. Sure, sure. Anyway, <laughs> keep getting distracted, but Emily doesn't do that. Emily, when you meet her, she has a solid job. She helps out Gus, the best character in Stardew Valley. He deserves the help, you know? She's stable as a person. She doesn't come with baggage. She's just a very fun girl who's just happy to be here. And I love that for her. She's just so great and she has passions too. I don't know, I was, I doubted, but I really am here for Emily now. She's, she really shot up there as one of my favorites when I married her recently. She's just so sweet. And her 10 heart event is just the cutest. Anyway, I'll stop gushing about Emily, but ah, she's great. I love her. We're not going to marry her. <laughs> you can appreciate people and not want to marry them. There is so much forage around. Wow. I may not have searched well yesterday, so it might still be the forge from yesterday, or... It could just be that there's a lot of forage, which is super great. I love expanded. Usually forage is so hard to come by. And this, what is this? A four leaf clover said to bring good luck, makes for a nice gift. What is that? I just picked it up off the ground. I've never, I've never picked that up before. It makes a nice gift. What do you mean? I am so low on, on storage already. I can get rid of this, I suppose. Okay, please be same quality it was. Perfect. Like I said, you get so much forage in this game. Oh, speaking of more forage, I will definitely be missing some. There's just no way I have the inventory space. And then we're back here. Hey, oh my god, how did I miss this yesterday? It must have been so dark, I couldn't see. There's more of these, uh, swords, and then there's a... There's a this. Um, I can get rid of a, a spring onion. I don't care. Spring onions aren't great. A forest sword! Yo! That's so great! 8 to 18 damage. Perfect. Maybe I just didn't come this way last time. I don't know. I need to stop back home. So that I can put stuff in my chest and keep foraging. Today has been a very successful day of foraging. I also might keep this to give to George when I get the, when I inevitably get the quest to give someone a gift after I meet people. It would be nice to befriend George pretty quick. He has the spicy eel recipe, which gives you plus one luck and plus one speed, and everyone loves that dish pretty much. Everyone always brings it to Skull Caverns because it's just good. There are a lot of good, other good speed dishes though that I like, like, I think crab cakes are good. They're a speed food. Can I pick you up? Perfect. Wow, all the horseradishes I've been getting are same quality. That's really great for inventory management. What about you? Oh, six of six. So much forage. I have some nice stuff to sell. Ooh, actually, should I sell or should I craft it into mixed seeds? 
Hmm. I'll think on that as we walk back up to the farmhouse because mixed seeds would be pretty profitable. Um, I might do that, honestly. It would also be good to befriend Caroline pretty quick. I hear that selling tea saplings is a really good way of making money and I've never tried that. So, it would be good. Wow. This song is kind of jazzy. Got some zest to it. I like it. Um, I'm gonna sell you or craft you. I don't know what I'm gonna do with you. Got a lot of leaks. I'm gonna save this one for George, like I said. Um, keep three of each. I don't see why not. And then, yeah. And then I guess I could craft the rest. How many can I make? Four. Incredible. Okay, and then I'm just left with regular quality daffodils. Or not daffodils, dandelions. So I'll just keep those. I mean, might as well. They're not going to sell for a ton. And if I get more forageables, I can craft those too. So. Yeah, I'm just going to sell these. <laughs> there they go. Goodbye. Then you guys can go into the chest. And what is my path out to the mountain? I don't know. But you know what? I have a ton of energy. I was going to go back out and see about introducing myself to people. But I might do that on Friday. Instead. Because then everyone will be in the saloon. And everyone will be pretty easy to find. So instead, since I have all this energy, I'm going to use it to clear the farm out a little bit more. I think that would be a pretty good use of our time. Oh, I am not even chopping this tree. Completely faced away from it. But yeah, that way we can start working on having materials and resources. It would be nice to get another chest built. You know, the wood for it before I gain access to the mines so that I can put it outside and have that extra inventory space. That is one of my favorite strategies, I think. I really do put off buying the backpack as long as I can. And just use chests. Lately, I've been trying to buy it earlier because it really does make a difference, truly. I have kind of been torturing myself for no reason. So, I just... I figured I should change that. But yeah, goals for this session, I think, are getting to know everyone, like meeting people would be good. Seeing the, opening up the community center, of course, of course, I wanna see what those bundles are, um, which will be fun. I'm trying to bury the lead on what I did to the bundles because I think it'll just be so much more fun if I show you before I tell you what I did to them. And it'll be fun for me too because I literally have no idea. So yeah, definitely want to find that out and then I'll also be able to meet the wizard and get to know him. That could be fun. Other than that, nothing specific. Just get like a solid basis down of money making, getting some crops set up. Harvesting our first 15 parsnips would be cool. That sort of thing. Just beginner stuff at the moment. Laying down some roots. So we should go to bed. I'm out of energy now. Level 2 foraging. New crafting recipe, a glass jar, and survival burger. Okay, I haven't shown you and I haven't really looked myself, but I have a lot of interesting oh, money. It's actually pretty good. For day two, yeah, not to toot my own horn, but I'm kind of good at this game. But yeah, I haven't really looked either, but I have a lot of machines. So you have all the normal stuff, and then we have like, this is what I just got. So a jar to ferment non-alcoholic beverages, turns mushrooms and various teas into kombucha. 
Yo! That's cool. I don't know what that does for me. I don't... Okay. Um, and then this is all the stuff that I already had, I guess. I had a grinder to make spices. An ice cream machine. A juicer. So I guess this is different than putting things into the keg. Maybe you can put fruit in here and make fruit juice. Like apple juice. That would be cool. Pepper blender. Smoker. For smoking fish. Oh, this is gonna be so fun to play around with. This kind of- it kind of costs a lot though, to be fair. Like, this requires a battery pack, a tin iron bar, there's an espresso machine. That is gonna be so fun to play with. Extruder, what is that? Turns flour into noodles and honey into wax? You're joking, that's so fun. Foreign cask can ferment soybeans. We got soap press, sorbet machine, vinegar cask can turn grapes, apple, and unmilled rice into vinegar. Wax or er, rice just got kind of more useful. Wax barrel, I can make candles, yogurt jar, canning machine, DNA synthesizer. Use it to create animal DNA from products. Meat press, okay, this is a lot. Um, I also have a lot of stuff added to the collections from, like, Expanded and all that. So, <laughs> obviously I don't know what all this stuff is, except for, like, obviously this is a Summer Spangle, that's large goat milk. But there's, like, this? It might be like, a worm, I guess. This might be DNA, because of the synthesizer. Um, I wonder if I have to ship all this for perfection. I wonder if that- if it takes it into account, because <laughs> look at all these pages. We could be here forever. I don't know what any of this is. This looks like a bottle. This is a cherry. The cherry goes over here in the middle of all this weird modest stuff. Maybe this is something else. I don't know. There's some fish, all the normal stuff except this. I know this is a dogfish, or not a dogfish, a puppy fish. That's cool. This might be- oh, this has the same shape as a moonlight jelly, so... Uh, no additional artifacts or minerals, but tons of- <laughs> There are tons of new cooking recipes. I want to upgrade the house pretty soon. Oh, and actually, some stuff is already revealed. So, to make bacon, I need wood and sap. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Uh-huh. This could actually make some modest amount of light. Oh, maybe that's not right because that's the same description and amount as a as a torch. Really? Okay, maybe it still takes that. It's just kind of messed up. I don't know. I'm not really good at installing mods, I'm going to be honest. Black tea. You can craft tea leaves in black tea broth question mark question yeah some things are broken just a little it's fine it's fine i kind of want to take the meat mods out and i think that's what's breaking it so oh uh, we'll see we'll see there's caramel which is fun and then all this meat stuff which obviously i want out yeah all the meat is broken pretty much except for like cooked alpaca meat but like cooked rabbit same thing as the bacon, it's a torch. So yeah, I'm taking all that out as soon as I can, but we'll just deal with it for now. I can make bonito flakes, pinto. Please don't eat me, what? <laughs> what is that description that's so ominous? Okay, this is fun and everything. Okay. I just hadn't gotten the chance to look through all that. I installed so many mods and I thought they were so cool in the moment, but also like kinda, you kinda forget what you downloaded. Okay, what's my fortune? I'm gonna fish either way. Spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed. Well, who cares what they think, truly. I need to fish and try and get a catfish and maybe an eel, eel would be cool. Um, Don't need scythe, we will bring hoe though because if I find any artifact spots I would like to have you go into the bin and then I have mail from who dear farmer juniper you might need some more space someday that's where I can help if you bring me some raw materials and pay a fee I can expand your house I was just thinking about that offer includes a kitchen I would love a kitchen 
That would be so cool. But okay, let's head out. Oh, should I get food? Mm. Food would maybe be a good op good option. Good something to think about. If I'm gonna be fishing for a while. Um, what do I got? I got leek. Ugh, I don't really. Maybe I'll eat daffodil. Hmm. I really don't know what four-leaf clover is. Okay, I'll take I'll take dandelion. I'll leave one. And then we'll be okay. I I don't know what to save. As I keep saying. So I just save everything. It's basically just normal. I always save any everything anyway. But okay, let's head on over to the river. My favorite. Oh, and actually, this will be the first time I'm fishing, so if I catch a catfish first, I won't be able to lose it. But yeah, let's fish here. With my fishing level one my not great luck it'll be fine i'm not worried oh also i can go buy sap oh i missed it that's embarrassing but also i can go buy salad if i really need to i didn't realize i didn't have sound on either okay no it's there it's just quiet oh not perfect but that's fine can't win them all. Uh, maybe I can turn that up real quick. Ooh, ambient volume with the rain? Love that. I'll actually turn that down. Definitely let me know if, like, my settings are a little off. Regarding my sound. I did make sure to do some test recordings before I went live, but still, I don't know. Can't know everything. Oh, come on. No, I lost that immediately. I was not ready, apparently. I have too small of a fishing bar, truly. But that might have been like a shad or a catfish. I don't know. I didn't get to hook it for very long to be able to tell. Oh, that is literal garbage. Okay, this definitely isn't the catfish, but I can catch this and maybe get perfect. Don't do anything weird. Thank you. It's a shad. Catfish are also going to be pretty good for XP. Well, if I could catch any. This is where bait would be very handy. Okay. Oh, well, not perfect. Last second. No one's walking by either. It's kind of depressing. I only I've only seen Shane pass by. Lewis, I suppose. Wonder where he's headed. Probably to Marnie's, huh? I was gonna make a joke about that being suspicious, but honestly, it's not because he visits all of the local business people. Like, I see him in Clint's all the time, I see him talking to Pierre. I can see why he thinks it's a secret. Lewis. 
literal trash again. Well, what did I expect? On a mildly perturbed day. truly having a grand old time. I gotta be honest. No, please don't. Please don't. Please don't. No! I said don't! I promise I'm good at fishing normally. I've got three shad so far, so that's not bad. Cola. Please don't be difficult, please. I'm asking nicely. Gotta focus a little here. No! I thought I had that one. seemed much better, and then it just went wild at the very end there. I should have done some fishing yesterday. There's another shad, at least, to comfort me. I mean, I don't mind having four shad or anything, it's just... I really have my heart set on this catfish. Not this one specifically. Yeah, it wasn't meant to be. This Joja Cola, though? I could give it to Sam. I don't know, does anyone ever actually buy Joja Cola except when they're trying to do the prismatic Grange display for Mr. Key? I always just fish them up and I'm like, hmm, well, I guess I have them now. And sometimes I give them to Sam if I feel like it. Oh. Hey. focused on that one too I thought I had it that's the most annoying part of this is that there are multiple points where I get so close like I got close twice with that catfish and just couldn't couldn't close the deal it's fine there will be more rainy days if I can't catch today but we'll keep trying Not to mention catch rate is so low with how unlucky today is. Man, three days in a row of not great luck. I wonder what's up with that. More green algae. Which I guess isn't the worst thing in the world. I don't mind green algae. You give me 13 energy. And there goes Emily in her cute pink sweater. And Andy, not as cute, but still, I don't mind him, I guess. Oh, I see bubbles, I see bubbles. We'll go for them after this fish. 
Oh, I think I also must have leveled up fishing. I'm tossing my uh, bobber a little farther now. <laughs> my fishing icon is all the way on the left now. The bubbles are already gone? That was quick. Well, back to it, I guess. Oh, there's Leah. Have I said hi to Leah? Oopsies. I mean to open the menu. Hello, it's nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. It is lovely. I love all the pink trees. Leah's cute, too. I like her vibe. Starting to get better quality fish, too. So yeah, I must be fishing level 2. At the very least. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go for... I'm gonna keep fishing here until maybe 5.30 or 6. Head back up, okay. No, I wasn't ready, I was talking. Um, but until 5.30 or 6, then I'll give up, maybe dump off all my stuff at home and go for the eel instead. Catfish might not be meant to be today. Oh, well actually my inventory's full, so I'll just head up to the farm anyway. with all my trash too. But yeah, then we can try for eel. I think eel is a little easier than catfish, at least in my opinion, but that might just be because I always go for it. Let me take this instead. But I always go for it after I've been trying for the catfish for a while. So I level up a little bit in between then. Okay, am I gonna keep these fish? Maybe one of each. And then I'll keep the trash. Okay, great. The rest can go. I need to make money somehow. Well, I'm also low on energy, but I have handy dandy dandelions, which I'm sure are gonna be so great at replenishing. Oh, I could go purchase salad, actually. That's what I said I would do. Okay, I'll do that, for sure. I had a plan, and I am sticking to it. Also, there might be more people to say hi to. Also, why did I not check this? Did I check it and just decide I didn't want to? Buying one cave carrot at three times the market value. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this, Emily. I am so sorry. But the mines are going to open on the 5th. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get you a cave carrot by then. I guess we could try, because her routine is actually pretty easy if I can get her before she leaves the saloon that night. Okay, fine, Emily. I'll try my best for you, because you're cute. Please give me three salad. Oh, also, look at this. <laughs> so... Gus sells his recipes normally. These are all mostly stuff you can get from Queen of Sauce, except Triple Shot Espresso. Oh, he's also cranberry sauce. Oh, Gus. Actually, though, plus two mining. Should I buy one? Maybe I'll buy one. Yeah, I did it. It's done. But look, okay, he also has all these extra recipes like mixed berry pie. With all these berries, Salal berry. Okay, never seen that in my life. He has uh, this flower, this rapeseed flower. He has red onion, shallot. He has a bunch of tea recipes, like incredible. They're kind of expensive. I won't be able to get them for a while. He has marshmallow fluff. He has like actual goods for me to buy, more tea, peanut butter. I can make peanuts happen. This is so exciting. Like, is this not the most 
just exciting thing ever. It gets you really amped to just plant things and experiment. It's like playing the game all over again, which is why I downloaded all these mods, because I was like, this is new. I would like to experience something new. He has cola, just straight up cola. It gives me plus one luck. What? Okay, sure, buddy. I love that. Should I buy it? Plus one luck is kind of really good. Can I buy it at any time? Maybe I'll come back for it. Cookie squid, cookie pig. Look at all this stuff. A lot of, like, salsa, a bunch of uh, dessert, and then some meat stuff, which I'm going to get rid of, but whatever. It's here. Um, he just sells the cooked meat, too. Okay, but also I'll say hi to people while I'm here. Uh, or sit next to them. Hey, Pam. Hey, kid. The name's Pam. <laughs> I love her 80s vibe. She's definitely older than 80s, though. What does that mean to say? She gives me, like, 50s or 60s. Boy there! Oh, you're cute. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Hello, Harvey. Wow, you are cute, Harvey. I love your mustache. I know you're the doctor, Harvey. I know everything about you. I am in love with you. Maybe I'm coming on a little too strong, but it's true. I am in love with Harvey. I married him one time. I spent six or seven years in game married to him. So I was really devoted and he was really devoted. It was wonderful. A wonderful six years with him. Well, five since I didn't marry him in year one, but you know. I knew he was the one when I started that save. I knew he was the person I was gonna go for, so it kind of. Okay, hopefully I can catch this eel. This is not the eel, but hopefully I can catch whatever this is too. A herring, not bad. It's silver quality. Just something. Yeah, we'll see what we can get. It just would be nice to catch the only raining fish as soon as possible. Most times, I would say I can catch the catfish by day three, but sometimes I get a little unlucky. Literally, because that's what the TV told me I was today, and I believed them. We're gonna stay out here pretty late, I think. Probably until like 11 or 12, like, you know, a couple hours. Give myself a pretty decent chance of getting this eel. Oh, fishing chest. Why am I so bad? <laughs> you know, I will say I've noticed I am much better at fishing on Switch than I am on PC. I don't know what it is, because it's like the same mechanic, the same thing, but I don't know, on Switch it's so much easier. <sighs> Maybe it's just because Stardew Valley on Switch is elite. The realest way to play. No, I'm joking. Not really, though. I don't know why I was like, I have to focus on this fish. It's like an easy fish. It's not that deep. Yeah, it's an anchovy. I might not even hook it, honestly. Perfect. What? How did I get a perfect on that anchovy and it ended up being regular quality and then the anchovy that I messed up on and panicked and <laughs> was chaotic with the chest ended up being silver? What is that logic? Aren't they supposed to be better quality if you get a perfect score on them? Or something? I mean, okay. Okay. 
At least I get the better XP for it being perfect. I'll take that. <laughs> this one isn't even hard and I'm really not doing great. Apparently it's the anchovies that really get me. A diamond? <gasps> and on a bad luck day too? Oh, you shouldn't have. I mean, you should have. You totally should have, but that's that makes up for everything. I didn't catch the catfish today, but I sure did get a diamond. Yeah, I'll donate that probably, honestly. Getting exhausted. Well, that's not really my problem. Literally is. But that's fine. I'll probably just head home after this cast. I didn't end up eating any of my food, which is good. Then I can bring it down to the mines. Which is going to be a much better use. I'll probably take just the salad. Maybe I'll take the daffodils and put them in the chest that I make. But yeah, let's head home. It's midnight now. See, Willie's even heading home. And he's a mess. So's Leah. I guess they were at the saloon. So they stayed out late. But I can't believe I have a diamond. Uh, maybe I should save it. Hmm. I'll save it. For now. Oh, Morris, have I met you? Ah, it's Farmer Juniper. Welcome to the valley. My name is Morris, manager of Joja Mart. If you need cheap, quality seeds, there's no better place than Joja Mart. Ick, I literally didn't ask. Oh, I'm gonna take this. I keep forgetting about it, because it I don't know why it exists, honestly. Okay, I'm gonna keep all my food, obviously. Take this back, put that in. Um, keep a herring, keep an anchovy, and then everything else. Okay, that should be pretty good profits for today, I hope. I sold some fish, so overall not a bad day. Level 1 fishing, level 2 fishing. So I did make some pretty good progress. Day four. You know what I want to do? <laughs> I want to pick up my bed and I want to move this whole setup to like over here because I don't know why, but having the bed there in front of the TV is kind of bothering me. So it has to go. I think the, cause yeah, having the chairs and tables in the middle of the room, like that doesn't make any sense. I didn't check the TV. One moment, please. Fortune teller. Spirits are in good humor today, finally. Maybe I'll fish. That could be good use of my day. And it'd be nice to get my fishing skill up some more. I didn't pay attention to what I got from fishing. Did I get anything new? I got bait. Um, but no, I didn't get anything new here. Okay, I may have gotten new recipes, but whatever. I should pay more attention to that stuff. I usually skip through because I'm like, whatever. I know by now. But I have new stuff installed, so I don't know by now. A lot of this is new to me. Okay, I have a lot of money. I don't know what to do with it. What am I doing on all this? I can make some more mixed seeds, so I definitely will. Then we can sell. I love that the shipping bin is over here in like the nice corner. Same with the greenhouse. I might not even move it. It's not in the worst spot. Maybe I will. I don't know. I. <laughs> 
I don't even know what my layout is because I haven't explored the actual farm. I can't really just be saying things, huh? Anyway, I'm gonna fish today. So I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna put you back and bring salad. And maybe crack my geode. Yeah. Yeah, that would be a good day for me. Can't think of anything else to do. Today is gonna be a big day though. Today, community center opens, mines open, and the traveling cart will be here. So, lots of stuff to do tomorrow. Today though, we're just gonna do some more fishing. Lately, okay, I picked all these up. I need to, hey Claire. Hi, I haven't seen you before. Sorry, I don't really know you all that well. Oh, sorry. I am crossing some boundaries. I need to take it especially slow with her. I need to dump all this stuff off. These two forageables. Apparently, I really need a chest. Or not a chest, a backpack upgrade. You know. I need a lot of things. Um, let me see who I haven't said hello to. I'll definitely, like, see Emily's highest because I think I've talked to her twice. So, she's falling for me. It's too bad I'm not interested. I say after gushing over her, but yeah. Um, if- I can definitely wait for the egg festival is the thing. So, it doesn't really matter. A whole lot of expanded people. Um, I'm gonna meet him on the 5th. So, yeah, it's all fine. Sam is so cute in this. I don't know, like... He just went so hard on Sam. He's actually just... He gives the vibes that he should have originally, is the thing. He's everything he should have always been. Okay, where am I gonna fish? Probably the ocean, right? That's where I'm literally headed, and... It would be good to stop, you know, it's on my way from the blacksmith. I could also do river, but I don't know. I don't really care about the river. Ooh, that's nice, actually. Earth crystal. I'll keep that for crafting. Uh, they're good for mayonnaise machines. Oh, bread. Perfect. 50 energy. Don't mind if I do. But yeah, let's head on down. Let's see what we get. Definitely need to think about repairing the bridge. Forageables, my favorite. I really am clogging my inventory, aren't I? I have four spaces now. I desperately need a backpack upgrade. Usually I don't do this. I, I mean, I'm not doing bad on inventory space for sure, but usually I don't feel like I need a backpack upgrade until like summer. Now I'm like, what if I get one now? Because all these forageables I keep picking up. There's our first fishing, fishing chest, by the way. With frozen geode and iron ore. Not bad at all. Actually, go sell some stuff. Save these two. Just to have, just in case. I like keeping one of everything. Ooh. Just jumped suddenly. Come on. It's not that hard of a fish. We're gonna be okay. are you? Lapia, maybe? You say as if there aren't tons of new fish probably in this game at the moment. From all these mods I've downloaded. 
But no, this is probably something basic. Oh, a halibut. Interesting. I don't really pay enough attention to fishing patterns. Like, I don't know how they behave normally, except for like... Except for some, I suppose. Like, I know how a pike behaves, I guess. Because I catch a lot of those. I know how a catfish behaves, but it's always in comparison to the other fish at the time. Less seaweed. Be nice. I've only caught one fish so far. Can I romance Willy? I cannot. other mods for it though. <laughs> Mod is trash because I can't romance Willy. Well, at least I can romance the wizard and that's all I really care about. There's definitely a mod out there to romance Willy, don't you worry. There is something for everyone. Nope. Oh my god, I went for the fishing chest and I lost the actual fish for it. Instant punishment. is easy, I say, as I not being able to catch it. Willie deserves love. I mean, you're right, but... I don't know. I think he's doing pretty well on his own. He owns a shop. He's married to the ocean. I'll definitely befriend him. We can be besties. You know, platonic love and all that. He is taken care of. Okay. Um. Um. Uh. Um. Maybe get rid of the, the muscle. Yeah, I don't need that. Um. Um. <laughs> um. Drop the bread. Don't fall into the ocean, please. I sure hope that didn't fall into the ocean. It did. Okay. That's fine. I got it out of the trash anyway. My heart isn't hurting inside because I lost my bread or anything. It's fine. I need to go drop off my items. I need inventory space so soon. I don't need muscles. I don't know if that's really true. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. See, Sam is so cute. They toned down his, like, weird, spiky Goku look. And now he's actually interesting? Yeah, who'd have guessed? I think I've said hi to all of you. But I'll talk to you anyway. Working a corporate job in the city was a different chapter of my life. You used to work for Joja, isn't that right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I did. Hmm, that's what I thought. Mayor Lewis told me. Office job to farmer. What an incredible career change. I work as a stock trader in my free time. Maybe 15 hours a week. 15 hours a week? Not bad. Good work-life balance, Olivia. And isn't she rich or something? She must make a lot of money those 15 hours per week. Happy I found my passion. Lady, it's been four days since I got here. Oh, have I talked to you already? 
I've seen wild horseradish in the forest. Thanks. Foraging can be a fun way to earn some cash, or you can use what you find as gifts or food. Okay, tutorial, Caroline. What? Why are you telling me that? You sound like living off the land. I'm hungry. Where's mom? She's literally over there, buddy. Just walk a little to the right. It's okay. He's just a little guy. Just a little boy. He doesn't know. I don't need muscles. I just got that because I got rid of my muscles and trashed them. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm sad about that. Am I out of space? Already? Really? Oh my god, I already have to build another chest. Okay. It's day four. And I'm out of space. Okay, that's fine. We will make this... This chest, my resources chest. And we will make the other one, like, food and stuff. Or, like, you know, natural goods. You know, everything else, basically. Completely natural conversation routines activated. Literally. Literally, as soon as I clicked on Caroline, she started accessing the files of what she should say, of what her dialogue should be. should talk to me tomorrow, unfortunately. <laughs> I found some ore. Okay, let's put this in here. I, I know how to organize my chest by now. I have a system. So, I just... It's just a matter of swapping things over. Um, including these forageables, and then... This too, just because it gives... Just because it gives energy, like, it's technically something you eat, even though it's classified as trash. So it goes in the other chest, too. Um, okay. That should be good. Alright, we're situated. I cannot believe I already have run out of space, but sure, that's fine. I guess it's back to fishing. I might go up to the mountain. How do I get up to the mountain from here? I don't know- I don't know how this- this farm works. It should be up and to the left, so I'm just gonna head over there and hope for the best. Is there a way out? There's not a way out. Okay, you know what? Change of plans. I am not going to try and find my way because I know I'll get lost and waste a lot of time, so I'm actually just gonna head up to the mountains the long way. And then we'll come down from there, and then we'll know where the entrance is from my farm. Anyway, and while I'm up there, I'll go for mountain lake fish or whatever. You know. All that good stuff. Oh, hey, Haley, I haven't talked to you. Oh, she's actually really pretty in this. I find her to be kind of... I don't know, it's so subtle. I can't describe why she looks better now, but she does. Much less... I don't know. But she's actually really pretty. And she's supposed to be, to be fair. You're that new farmer girl or whatever, aren't you? Yeah. Huh? Oh, I'm Haley. Mm, if it weren't for those horrendous clothes, you might actually be pretty. Actually, never mind, I hate you. Why are you like that? Why is that the first thing you say to me? It's like I'm desperately trying to have a conversation with her, you know, make topics for us to discuss, and she's just like, you could be pretty, but actually, no, probably not. Nerve. Okay, Jody. that's not Jody. Robin, <laughs> I've talked to you, so Demetrius... Yes, I have now talked to you. I have unlocked that guy. Anyway, I'm gonna fish. Did 
be nice to upgrade my rod pretty soon too. I have all these things I want to do. All these things that require money to do. So it's going to be a while before I can do all those things. There's my carp, and I got an achievement. Fisherman. Bait. It's so much bait from fishing chests. I can't really make use of it, to be fair. I have no crab pots, I don't have an upgraded rod. So I just kind of have it around. Which is fine, I'll use it later. mouth bass. Getting all the lake fish. And algae. day either. I'm probably just going to go until either it gets too late or I run out of energy and then we'll head back home. To the left. Then tomorrow is going to be our big day, like I said. Very excited for that. I think I also get a cat tomorrow. Ooh, very excited. I don't know what I'll name it. Eh, actually, you know what? I lied. I do know what I'll name it. I'll name it the, th the same thing I always name it. really does solve all my problems when I have one name I use. Epic. You think so? can't hear me, but I'm really happy to see you. Also, the good thing about day five is... I finally have stuff to do. All the way up till day five, it's just kind of like finding my own way to occupy myself, foraging, fishing, kind of the only thing I can do. But now I can like delve into the mines and that'll be so fun. I love the mines. So I'll probably prioritize getting to floor 40 as soon as I can. But also, getting copper along the way. You'll see. It'll be fun. I think I definitely have enough wood to make another chest for tomorrow. I am definitely prepared for the mines. So we're good. Also, don't I have like a cave carrot that Emily needs me to deliver still? I'll check that in a second. Totally forgot about it. It might be run out by now, but whatever. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to get it to her in the first place, so it really doesn't matter. Oh. Okay, yeah, final day is today, so no, I will not be able to get Emily her cave carrot. Sorry. <laughs> Literally, I don't know how I was supposed to do that, Emily. I had no access to the mines. You know that. They're... 
literally blocked off. Yeah, she asked too much of me. That's her fault. Alright, finally I get to see where my entrance is. Oh. Well, obviously I'm gonna not want the newspaper. Leak is way better. Oh, it's up here? You know... I guess I should have guessed. I think these are the mine carts, right? <gasps> Wait, okay, so this is the entrance to the right, to the bus stop. And then, wow, really? And then the mountains are just up there. I guess that makes sense because then both entrances um, end up by the teleport thing. Fair. Weird though, not where I would have expected. Um, we're gonna keep you because I need you. And then the leak, of course. Daffodil 2. Then. Scythe out. Yeah. Can I craft any more seeds? I definitely have enough for one batch. Let's do that. Let's sell. don't have any mail. I know. You don't have to tell me. No one wants to write to me. I get it. Oh, I forgot where my bed was. I literally moved it today and I've already forgotten. Alright, look at me, getting money. I actually have enough for a backpack upgrade. Hmm, could do that. It's gonna be a busy day today. I don't know how much I'll actually be able to mine. But, okay, fortune teller. Spirits are somewhat mild. Well, I definitely won't be able to mine that much today. What the spirits gotta be like that? And it's you. Uh, hi there, good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. Clint, buddy, I have not broken a single rock open. Sorry to break it to you. I have been fishing. If you want to get the most out of the ores you find, you'll need a furnace. I know. I know more than you. You had a set of blueprints lying around. So it's nice of you to give them to me. The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. When you've smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Now he's advertising to me. Ah, it's okay, I get it. Oh, and now Marnie's here. Just everyone was in a line to see me. Hey, Marnie. At least I like Marnie. See this cat here? It's very cute. I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. It's a stray. Poor little thing. I think it likes this place. Hey, um, do you think this farm could use a good cat? Will I adopt the cat? Yeah, of course I'll adopt the cat. And I have the perfect name lined up for it. Kitten. <laughs> well, little kitten, you be a good kitty now, okay? Aw. What a cute one. Cute little girl. All right, let's harvest all of these because we can. Oh, I love harvesting the first 15 parsnips. I only got one silver quality. Mm, okay. I guess I'll keep three and then I'll sell the rest. Got new items in stock, a deluxe fi fishing pole and some bait. Great. Hello, Juniper. My name is Susan. Lewis told me you're a new farmer in town. I'm trapped on my farm in the mountains, so I can't say hi in person. Hopefully the mess Joja made will be cleared out soon because I'm going a little stir-crazy. Can't wait to meet you and see how the farm is shaping up. Susan. Aww. Me sell hats. Okay, Poke? Come to old, old, old house, Poke. Bring coins. Hat mouse. Oh, of course. I'll come see Hat Mouse. To our valued Jojamart customers, 
Yeah, okay. You cleared the mess you made from in front of the mines? Great. It was the least you could do. Okay, I have a ton more ch or quests to take care of. Gotta do the scarecrow, gotta do the um, coop and the furnace. And then I've met 25 of 31 people. Ugh, okay. Well, I'm gonna buy 15 more crops, I think. Probably potatoes, honestly. I have no hopes of completing the community center by year one. Usually that's what I'd be going for and I'd be planting more of a variety, but honestly, I don't know. I also wanna get um, strawberries, tons of them. So potatoes are gonna be the best bet for that. I'm gonna take you to get cracked open. I'm gonna take you to be donated. And then you to the mines. Definitely a chest. We'll see if I decide to upgrade my backpack today. It would be nice, for sure. I know that. But I don't I don't know if it'll happen, honestly. Um, I could also take this, but do I really want to take this for just the beginning of the mines? Probably not. <laughs> Be a little bit of a waste but let's head down to the forest which is down where it should be my way yeah and it has a sign by it too this is a very cute farm i really do enjoy but yeah we want to go see the traveling cart and then we're gonna do a community center cutscene and then possibly mine so that can be fun. We'll see how deep we get. I don't have high hopes because of the luck today, but we'll try our best. We will. Wallflower pal? That's cute. I won't buy it, but it's cute. Fried mushroom gets me plus two attack. Mm, I am tempted, but no. Coconut, pickles. I don't know what I need. Let's do farming plus 30 max energy. That could be good. Sandfish, fish taco, plus two fish taco could be good. 2,000 though. Hmm, and I don't have a ton of money, so it would be nice and everything, but I think that would be better for a backpack upgrade. I think that's too steep of a price. So, we're just gonna walk away. She didn't have anything I wanted, unfortunately. Which honestly is not a surprise. She never has anything. I also did not check guarantee year one completable now that I think about it. So there is no guarantee of a red cabbage seed showing up. Ooh, I did not think that through. That's fine. I mean, it could still show up reasonably. All that does is really guarantee. Also, I don't even know if I'll need it. It would just be nice, I suppose. But all right, it's nine. Let's go talk to Lewis. Let's go see what his problems are. Oh, hi there. This busted up building. What an eyesore. It's not that bad. It's just, you know, kind of run down. This is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Now, just look at it. It's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. But listen to me, I sound like an old fool. Georgia Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to relics of the past. If anyone else buys a Jojico membership, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it. Aww. 
He's giving me an ultimatum without meaning to. It's okay, I'm not gonna buy the membership. I will go through what the community center entails. Don't you worry. Honestly, the community center is just fun. I don't know how fun it'll be. See, this is already here. That's weird. Hmm. What's this? I guess Vincent and Jas must have been playing in here. Oh, the hut? Uh, yeah, totally. Totally Vincent and Jas. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. Alright, Lewis with the vocabulary words. Dilapidated. What? What do you mean, what? What's the matter? Are you ill? Oh, I just saw something. Yeah, I did see something. I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. That doesn't look like a rat. I mean, I guess I shouldn't question it too much, huh? We just have some weird rats here. You're worrying me. Look, I think I'm going to head home. I need some lunch. Lunch at nine in the morning? Keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time. Lewis is so weird. Judging me, and he's the weird one. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. Yeah. So, interesting. If you skip the cutscene, you end up over by the entrance. If you don't skip the cutscene, you end up right in front of the community center. So. No. There's that. I wonder if that counts. I'll go check the other one just in case. Like the normal pantry one. to Just in case you need that one specifically to trigger the wizard. <laughs> but yeah. I should not have brought my tools like the scythe and the hoe. Just force of habit. Those are the ones I always carry around. Without fail. Oh, Sophia, I haven't talked to you yet. Eek, a stranger! Wait, aren't you Juniper, the new farmer? That's me. S sorry, I get a little nervous around people I haven't met before. My name is Sophia. I'm the owner of Blue Moon Vineyard. Good to know. Yeah, I get a little nervous around people too. Don't worry. Noja Cola. I can do that. Should I buy something? I should buy the backpack. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it. YOLO. I want the space so bad. And then... I'm gonna buy 15 of these. Yeah, okay, it'll let me. And then... Yeah. That's that. I guess we should head up to the mines now. Oh, Geode. So I gonna crack geodes open. Yeah, I'll do that. I finally got the actual um cutscene to let me know I could crack geodes open. Oh, you give Dusty many pets. Dusty is so cute. I love them. Oh, I am so sorry, Luz. I am so sorry. I did not mean for you to see that. So how was your first night in the old cottage? Um, good. It. It was kind of the same as all of the other four nights I've been here so far, but thanks for asking. And you? I don't know you. That's true. You don't. I don't know you either. Actually, that's a lie. <laughs> I do know you, Jazz. I know everything about you. I know your favorite gift is plum pudding, so... Yeah. Be afraid. I gotta stop. <laughs> Let's get this amphibian fossil to Gunther. I'm sure he will appreciate it. I'm getting so many artifacts, but no minerals. That's so interesting. Usually my... Okay, I guess I have gotten minerals. I've just saved them, like the earth crystal and the diamond. Alright, yeah. But usually I get, like, topazes or... Amethysts, 
first, but no. Field snack. Okay. Oh, Pierre's shipping bin has a lock on it. I love that he has a shipping bin. We're gonna find out what our bundles are tomorrow. I am looking forward to it. Kind of. Also dreading it, but it's fine. I see a leak. I will go for the leak. Oh, Linus, have I said hi to you? Stranger, hello. Don't mind me, I just live out here alone. Oh, Linus, buddy. Yeah, he's wary of me. Which is fair. Oh, another leak. So much forage. I also have a really good sword, so I am so excited to get through the mines. I think I'll be- I think I'll be good. I love how the Adventurer's Guild is up here and the mines are farther away. It really makes them feel like some place you shouldn't really go, instead of just part of the town. Hmm. I was just wondering how far down this mine shaft goes. I'm going to take care of some of the monsters in here before they start climbing out into the valley. That's my line. I'm the protector. I've met a lot of adventurers in my time. I recognize that look in your eye. Old age hasn't robbed me of my eyesight or my skill with the sword quite yet. Take this weapon. It may not look like much, but it's imbued with magic. With it, you'll be able to battle the monsters here. Oh, that's what you're- that's what we're going with? This rusty, junky sword is imbued with magic, so it's okay to give it to me? Instead of literally anything else? Okay. Um... I'm just gonna stick with salad for now. Or maybe I'll take the field snack as well. Everything else can go in. Perfect. Oh, doesn't seem to be working. That makes sense. I haven't actually gone down in the mines yet. Oh, first things first, I see this. An amethyst, and it gives me a ladder? Are we sure it's a bad luck day? And a ladder just free? I mean, I still kind of want to fight these. I, what do you mean? I'm having such good luck. I just spawned two ladders. I'm on floor three and I just got here. I thought the spirits were mildly perturbed or something. Not that I'm complaining. I am not complaining. I do not want bad luck. I am, in fact, very pleased. I got a topaz out of one of those. And some retaining soil. I don't really like retaining soil. I kind of think it's a waste of time. Yeah, and another little gem thing. Look at me go. The jade. I have three different minerals now. Give to Gunther. And a nice little respectable copper ore vein, too. Dropped a crab for me. Sorry, I like to clear those. I don't like the blinking journal thing. Okay, I still don't have the ladder revealed, so let's look for that real quick. Hopefully it is real quick anyway. I got another geode, which isn't bad or anything. In fact, it's quite good. Oh, we reached floor five pretty quick. All right, let's dump all this stuff in, get some space and delve back in. I think we could actually definitely reach floor 10. Maybe even floor 15, depending, but I think that might be a bit much to ask. Well, unless ladders keep popping up like that. Is 
Maybe one of you will drop one? Or not, you know, that's fine too. A blue jelly already? I mean, okay, I'm down for variety. Just a free ladder just sitting here. Cool, chill, sick. Wow, what is my luck? To be fair, the sword is massively helping. To be fair, it is really, really nice to not have a junky sword that does one damage every hit. Don't have to hit them for ages. Hey, I got Cave Carrot. Maybe if Emily had waited to ask for Cave Carrot, she could have gotten some Cave Carrot. Just saying. It isn't final day on this, is it? No. Okay. For the Joja Cola Andy wanted. I can still do that tomorrow. Maybe I'm wrong about my luck. Maybe they did actually say it was good. Hey, Rilder. Stardew has been really fun today. I was really looking forward to playing. I downloaded so many mods yesterday. So I've just been really looking forward to messing with them. I saw you were... I lurked in your stream yesterday. Was kind of busy at the time, so I couldn't, like, chat or anything, but how did that go? A magnet ring? Really? Already? Take that. I've been getting so lucky. Some... Sons of the Forest was a blast. Yeah, what is that game? I... Now all of a sudden I'm seeing tons of people playing it. And I've never heard of it. Uh, I think we can definitely try for, for floor 15 today. I'm gonna go for it. Oh, it's a sequel to the game The Forest. Okay. Did it come out just recently then? Crafting, building, survival game. Is it also scary? Sorry, I have so many questions. Because I've heard a lot of people being like, no, I'm so bad at The Forest because it's scary and I get jump scared or something. Last week. That makes sense. It has mutants and zombies. Yeah, I don't think I'd do well at a game like that. And cannibals? Can you be a cannibal? That's my first thought. Can you eat other people, though? More floors, then 15, and then we go home. I think I actually got a lot of copper today, too. Very pleased with how this went. You can? Incredible, maybe I'll consider it then. If you're playing as a group, you can do co-op. 
Do you all have to agree to be a cannibal or can just one of you do it? And completely so chaos. Can you eat each other? Can you eat your teammates? I am so out of energy. I'm just gonna go. I think I did pretty good. What am I gonna take? Probably the seeds for sure. I just bought those. Definitely my minerals. My resources. Got two hardwood. I wasn't even paying attention. Geodes, the crab. I could... I can take a bunch of this home. Actually. Oh, I definitely need my tools. I always forget tools when I bring them up here and put them in the chest. Alright, that's good. Oh, you can't eat each other? Well, why not? It's so nice of you to invite me. Yeah, I don't know if I... If that would actually be a game I'd be interested in, to be fair. But I'll definitely have to consider. And I'll let you know. well with anything scary really I'm really sensitive to stuff like that my fiber has made a wall to block me plant this. I don't know about watering it, though. Hmm. Especially with my low energy. I'm the one who wants to be scary. I don't want to be scared. I didn't really get anything edible. Yeah, all this can go in this chest. We'll deal with everything later. It's kind of... It's so late. I didn't even pet my cat. I just got my cat and I'm already neglecting my cat. But I did get a scarecrow. Look at me. I can actually protect my crops now friend looking over them. Their cherry bomb. Level 1 mining does not give the greatest rewards, I'm gonna be honest. Level 1 combat at least gives a bug steak. I will probably never craft. I really bought all that salad just to not eat it. Fortune teller, be good. Spirits are very displeased today. I get the skull. That's fine. I guess it balances out the luck I had yesterday. Your sources tell me you've been poking around inside that old community center. Why don't you pay me a visit? Don't mind if I do. He's inviting me over. 
then Marlin just wants me to slay 10 slimes. Cool. I'll try my best, I suppose. So brutal I can't even water more than 20 crops at a time before my watering can runs out but yeah no I'm cool with being the zombie but I'm not cool with being chased by zombies to load in my brain real quick because I blanked on everything I was doing and where I was at. I think I want to go see the wizard for sure. He has info for me. And then probably forage for the rest of the day since my luck is so bad. Oh, and we'll also be able to see the bundles. That'll be fun. Yeah, okay, wizard first. Love that guy. Oh, you don't usually do horror games either? Yeah, I feel like with people it's better, right? Because most of the horror part is just being scared because you're alone and feel unsafe. Either that or they're the type of people- or you end up with the type of people who really lean into scaring you to me a lot. I always try to pretend I'm much braver than I am and I'm not scared so that people won't come after me. Not me interrupting him looking at his creepy summoning circle. Agnes Rasmodius. What a charming name. Oh my god. I gotta be honest, I really don't like this cutscene. <laughs> I. I know I was trying to go through all the cutscenes, but I am so tired of seeing that one. That one specifically, I think it goes on too long. Explore your creepy basement? Just wander in? Like, yeah, I'm not being weird at all. I'm not invading your privacy. This room is filled with magical books. Are the cutscenes changed by mods or at least low G? Um, so I'm playing Expanded. All of the original cutscenes are still in, but it adds additional ones, like this one, for example. I think with the wizard specifically, since he was made a marriage candidate in Expanded, he gets additional new cutscenes. It is really cool. You play Stardew, right? Have you ever messed around with mods at all? What are you doing? I only allow those who I trust down here. The book in your hand is over a hundred years old. It outlines the magical properties of a number of mystical plants. Recently, I was fortunate enough to obtain several seeds of ancient fruit, previously believed to be long extinct, and I'm cultivating them outside. Oh, I saw that. 
Aw, I love a guy who gardens. world holds countless mysteries waiting to be discovered and studied. Our knowledge of some of these mysteries has been passed down among magic practitioners, buddy. I didn't ask. I'm sorry. I just wanted to snoop a bit. I didn't- I was not here for a lecture. Visitors from the town here are rare, and not one of them has been drawn to my books. If you choose to pursue deeper arcane knowledge, I'll be delighted to assist. Yeah, I'm not like other townspeople. Does it count as gardening if you kill everything you plant? I am the wrong person to ask. I... I can't keep cactuses alive. Would recommend a snake plant, though. Those? can take so much abuse, they don't mind where you put them, they don't mind how much light they receive, they just appreciate anything. They just want to live. But yeah, I'm not very good at gardening either. Considering your connection with the Junimos and arcane potential, I grant you permission to enter my basement and honor yeah, that's not weird at all. I love when men invite me into their basements. When I hardly know them. Don't open them too far as it could crack the spines. They said the same thing about Rosemary. No, I promise you, snake plants really good hardly have to water them like I'm sure there are ways to really treat your snake plant well but you just gotta miss them every once in a while and they're good want to see my basement freezer yeah basically what he said not true perfection on vanilla that's really impressive I did that too and then I stopped playing the game for like months because it was exhausting and I stopped enjoying it. It was kind of sad actually. Definitely would recommend exploring mods a bit though. If you've done most things in vanilla, there are like, there are so many expansion mods, like, not even just Stardew Valley Expanded, which is what I'm playing, but also Ridgeside and East Scarp and other stuff, too. There's so many ways to change up the way you play. Oh, I can see my bundles. I completely forgot. Okay. I'm not ready. <laughs> Okay, spring foraging needs a wilted bouquet, a peach, crab pot, and a sardine. I have a sardine. Um, winter foraging, escargot, fiddlehead fern, oil, ocean stone. Ocean stone is so random. Literally. Um... Cargo, I suppose. Skeletal hand. Oh, I actually have cranberry sauce, but I think I, I think I'll save that for now, because it gives me plus two mining. Wait, none of those are foraging items. E yeah. I so, I downloaded a randomizer for the community center. So, all of this is just whatever. Like, a stone. One singular stone for the exotic foraging bundle. Okay. Yeah. I don't know where to start. I guess the stone. It's gonna be so difficult. And I have to unlock one of these to unlock other bundles, I think. Instruction bundle, one strawberry seed, a barbed hook, and an iridium bar? An iridium bar that's so late game. 
Pops, marble. Marble is so random. Dwarf scroll, I think, is possible. It's not gonna be hard. And then last one. Calcite. Squid ink. I mean, squid ink is so annoying. And then, I guess these are fine. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think this one's gonna be actually pretty possible. No, because I'm gonna have to... Iridium bar pain. Pain. Okay, this is fine. See, this looks easy, but for this I'd have to get a marriage candidate up to eight hearts so that I unlock the bundle in Pierre's. I don't know where to start. Truly. I guess this one might be easy. If I can get lucky with the ocean stone? I don't know. Maybe actually this one, because we got stone, eggplant, some things I can cook. I already have cranberry sauce. Maybe exotic foraging will be easiest. Okay. Uh, that's a problem for future me, I guess. My hope with the randomized bundles was that it would make them a little easier. Yeah. Yeah, easier, because I randomized one singular stone in for one of the bundles, and I thought they would all be like that, just randomizing in silly things. Yeah, I was wrong. I'm just gonna craft myself a scarecrow. And put you off to, honestly, the side. Yeah. Thank you. Watch over my crops, I guess. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. A lot of things to donate. I'll do that. And then also craft a furnace. I think I'll only be able to craft... I'll only be able to craft none because I don't have enough stone. When has that ever been a problem for anyone? Usually it's the copper. Okay, whatever. That's... I'll deal with it later too. Just put everything off and then maybe I'll figure it out. Usually I can complete the community center by year one or early year two. Haley, wait, oh, she's in here. How can you, you can see me going through the garbage, through the dog, through the doghouse, through the fence. Yeah, okay. Um, cheese cauliflower. No. I'm good. Oh, actually, so I was showing this off earlier, but... <laughs> You want to see all the things that Gus has now? Because I downloaded so many things. So he has the normal recipes that he sells that the Queen of Sauce can give you to. And then he has this Bixberry pie recipe. He has like red onion. He has other recipes, all these teas. Um, it's just different ways to crack, to cook the tea leaves. Peanut butter. I can have peanuts apparently sick kind of cool all of this stuff and i don't know what any of it is this is bitter commonly used in alcoholic drinks made from flowers creme de this creme de coco just all this stuff literally tequila just all kinds of alcohol and a lot of desserts, like they're really cute. There's this bunny cotton candy. I think it's supposed to, yeah, it's shaped like a bunny. That's what the description says. 
cheese fries, which sound delicious. Cola, which gives you plus one luck. You can just buy that. And all these cookies that are shaped like things. And a cupcake cat. A heart lollipop, it's so cute. Ayo, the saloon actually sells booze now. Exactly! I couldn't be more pleased. There's also all this meat, but I think I'm gonna remove the mod that puts meat in the game. Uh, there are seeds that I can get from Pierre's that would grow meat. I'm not actually doing anything relating to being a butcher or anything, so. But I'm gonna get rid of it because it breaks a lot of stuff in the game for me. I don't know why. But yeah, there's so much stuff. not bring Jojacola out. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back and grab that. Oh my god, 10 coal! <laughs> I just looked back over and I got 10 coal? That's so good from just a regular geode. I always struggle so much to get coal in this game. I run out so quickly and I can never replenish it fast enough. And coal from one geode. Oh, hello, I haven't said hi to you yet. Hello. Look at him leaning up against the bookshelf, all cool or whatever. Hey there, you're the new owner of Moonwake Farm. I'm Victor. Yeah, he's an academic. He's an intellectual. You can tell because he's reading a book. <laughs> okay, that's everything. What is my reward? I only do things with the hopes of being rewarded. Nine cauliflower. Not bad at all. Okay, I'm gonna head back up to the farm, get my Joja Cola, plant my cauliflower, and then... I guess figure out about my furnace, too. But I also need to get that cola to Andy at some point. It's fine. to 15 whole coal. I tripled my supply. I'm gonna plant my cauliflower to the right and try and go for a giant crop, even though I never get giant crops from the nine seeds that Gunther gives me. I can hope, though. so much forage. It's all just lying around my farm, too. That actually gives me enough to do another set of forage seeds. Let's do that, and then I'll sell those. That has been my main source of income. pretty solid. Me go. Alright. So... I think I'm 
we're just gonna go prioritize the Joja Cola thing. And then when I come back, I'll clear out stone from my farm. And make a furnace out of that. I do need to do some clearing. Or Andy will be. Probably at the saloon, honestly. Or at least heading there. This is so weird. Alex and Haley are actually hanging out spending time together. It's almost like they like each other. Love to decorate for the, di for the different seasons. That's sweet. Okay, hopefully I can find him down here. nearby his messed up house because one of my recolor mods didn't work right. Look at that. So off center. Anyway, here you go. Yep. Hope he appreciates me, even though he's literally heading over to the saloon where they sell Joja Cola for a pretty cheap price. It's interesting. I think, honestly, money in this game is so weird. Because Joja Cola is 75G. And I think that's supposed to be like cents or something. Because there's no way it's $75. And then one of... It's so weird because when you get a cutscene with Sam and he's like trying to sell his records, he's like, come get a record, they're only 5G each. You assume that's like $5. What? Makes no sense. Robin has some work to do on that house. Yeah. Yeah, who's gonna tell him that his house is kinda... needs work. I think he's supposed to be broke, too. So probably can't even afford to fix it. Here. Oh, I see one. I only need like three or four, right? For one singular furnace. That's probably the last one I needed. So. There's so much invisible stuff in my way. is with one coal or one stone to spare. All right. Furnace can go here. We'll see about making more. I didn't realize I was so low on stone. Nice, easy 350G from my 10 spring seeds. I kind of spilled all over myself. Just took a drink and it just went everywhere. Nice. It's fine. I'll pretend it doesn't exist and then it'll stop being a problem eventually. First queen of sauce recipe, stir fry. Saute the greens in a little sesame oil and make sure to add plenty of fresh ginger and garlic. I mean, 
That's not at all how you make stir-fry. Oh, I guess you do. There's oil in there. Alright, there's my first copper bar. I can't believe you don't get any money for that. It's like a whole line of quests where you have to craft a furnace and then make an iron bar or a copper bar. Could make an iron bar. I'll wait on that though, because it's gonna take longer. Potatoes are ready. I don't think I'll be able to get another batch done before egg festival, so whatever money I have now is the money I have for strawberry. And then I'm gonna have to save one of those seeds. It's so annoying. is all empty. You know, I'm going to refill that before I put it in the chest so that I don't have to be upset with myself later when I go to fill crops. Or go to water crops. You know what? No. When I go to fill crops, fill them with water. I stand by what I said. And I'll keep three of you. Just cause, I guess, honestly. There's no real reason to. I don't know, I like hoarding things. I like keeping them. Just for me. Um, traveling cart is here. What was the, did I even check the fortune teller? Cause I literally don't remember what my luck was if I did. So please tell me. Spirits feel neutral. I'm gonna go to the mines then. I'm gonna take it as a sign. To mine. Do that. Grab my salad that I still haven't eaten yet, and head down to the traveling cart, honestly. I wanna see what she has, if there's anything good. Theoretically, she should still sell things that are possible to end up in the community center, because she sold that cranberry sauce that I have. And that's a community center item for me. I don't know how this mod works and how they incorporated it, but theoretically, right? I can hope. Oh, that scene. <laughs> I have to look at his house more. I hate that. Ah, oh, it's the new farmer. How are you doing on this fine, sunny day? Caught me in the middle of tending to my crops. I'm spreading some new Joja fertilizer on my crop field. Yikes. I always use Joja fertilizer. It makes my crops stronger and healthier. They're all growing unevenly. Are you sure? You have something for me? What do you have? Some strawberry seeds. Fairhaven Farm strawberries have a good reputation in Grampleton and Chestervale. These strawberries? Just right off the bat? You'll be sp sending them my way? I'm gonna get strawberry seeds in the mail? Oh, he's so nice. Wants to support the new farmer, I guess. What's I doing? Traveling cart, yes. I got distracted by cutscene. Who could blame me? Okay, hello lady. Give me something good, please. Thanks. Okay, you have flowers. Lots of flowers, actually. Um, largemouth bass, which I've already caught. A green bean. Kale seeds. Um... Literally all the flowers. Interesting. And then rare seeds. So no, you have nothing for me. Which I guess is fine, because I'd rather spend the money I have on strawberries. No, apparently I'm going to get some in the mail, so. 
Let's head back through my farm to get to the mines. I think heading through town would take longer. I'm starting to get the hang of how my farm's laid out, at least to get to Cindersap Forest. Yeah, let's just head up through here. Radish. Oh, and a daffodil hiding. It's 10 a.m. I think we can get deeper in the mines. I don't know how much deeper. The I would like to get 10 floors deeper. Now set myself a goal. Try to obtain it. The mines are so far. Earlier, I was like, oh, I love how far they are. I love how they're not, like, a part of the town. They feel so far away and forbidden. No, they're just inconvenient. Gotta walk so far. There's a boat. With weapon. Sword, dagger, or hammer. The weapon you choose dictates your fighting style. Good to know. Can I leave? The whole path up there too. You shouldn't use Marlin's boat without permission. Well, why not? Who says? <sighs> Fine. I'll just go to the boring old mines instead of exploring on the boat. this sword. I love that I found it. It makes such a difference. I wonder if bug sword is better, though. I don't think so, right? This is 8 to 18. And then insect head... Yeah, I don't think- I don't know. I don't know, it might be a little surprising, but I don't remember all the damage stats on every weapon. But yeah, I was thinking it could be a good idea to, to maybe try and kill a lot of insects to get it, but I don't know if that would even be an upgrade. Frog. The frog just popped out of that slime. Makes total sense. Where else would a frog belong? I'm gonna get coal on this floor. A lot of copper on this floor, actually, especially compared to the last ones. And there's more over here, another little small vein. I love calling these veins now. I've heard people refer to like groupings of the copper stones together as veins, and now I'm like, yeah, that may that is what that is. I'm gonna call them that too. I just think it's nice. Ugh, a spiral floor? Really? I don't want to deal with this. I used to not really dread spiral floors. I used to be like, oh, well, there's treasure in the center and everything, so it's kind of worth going through. But now I'm like, oh, they take forever, though. I mean, I will still try to get to the center, of course break open all those boxes. Sometimes I do try to just search for the ladder right away, depending on how I feel about it. I'm especially spiteful that day. 
were in Skull Caverns. And there's an infestation, of course. Worst timing. Oh, there's a ladder, but now that I'm this far, I might as well go for the center. The station and all. Some may say it's a waste of time, and I would agree with them. Oh, there's another ladder closer, so I won't have to walk all the way back. Take your wins where you can. Okay, what is in all of these? Hardwood, geodes, stone, more geodes, more stone. Oh, and a shoes! One immunity. Oh, well, they're not very good shoes, but they are they are drippy. So, I don't know. Tell me which is better. Green? Mm. Or more defense? Why do I really like the green shoes, actually? I was kind of joking, but now I'm like, wait. I do want to wear those. Okay, sometimes you gotta prioritize how you look instead of a reasonable outfit. It's fine. We go no defense. We downgrade. But look how sick these shoes look. A steel small sword? Okay, I scoff at you. In the face of my forest sword? Absolutely not. Absolutely shameful. I will keep it though. I like keeping the weapons I get. Just in this chest, next to each other. I really should keep the leather boots, huh? It's fine. The green ones spark joy. ladder let's just go down that oh basic retaining soil gross i hate basic retaining soil i know it's supposed to it was added to be beneficial if people went to for the beach farm but even when i played on the beach farm i was like not into retaining soil i just think it's so it's I guess it's supposed to be nice to not have to water all of your crops, even if only one stays watered overnight, but I just find it more annoying to have to look for the ones that are watered and the ones that aren't. It takes more time. For me. I know it saves energy, but does it? Does it really? For me, the player behind the screen? No. That's why I hate it. I never know what to do with it either. Like, do I sell it? Do I keep it in a chest? Do I use it? No, I absolutely do not use it. <laughs> At least I know what not to do with it. search for this ladder if I didn't get it by just walking around aimlessly oh I'm running low on energy too I might actually have to eat one of my salads finally oh I see the ladder all the way in the dark Ooh, earth crystal I might have enough to make more mayonnaise machines like I always do. One for each chicken I buy. I should really start working on coop. But that's like a problem for after the strawberries. Yeah, I'm not really tryharding this save at all. Usually I do, usually I know the routine to go, but obviously like I've added so many new things that routine has changed.
Okay, uh, salad time. That really does increase energy. Oh, lots of, um, crates. And that slime was kind enough to spawn a ladder for me. See you. 9 to 16. You are not better. Really? Why do you start at 9? But don't go higher than 16. That's so weird. Huh, okay. Well, obviously I'm keeping the forest sword, but nice try, I guess. I guess it's nice to add the club to my collection. Boop. Uh, I'm gonna try and go another five floors. I know it's late, but I just had a salad. So I wanna make use of the energy. I definitely don't wanna pass out though. I have money I would like to keep. Now for strawberries. I have goals. There's the ladder. And quartz. You enjoy getting quartz. I always save quartz because I'm like, that's a resource. I can make that into refined quartz, and then I, like, very, very rarely do, because I get refined quartz from trash. That's usually my supply. You know, I didn't even know you could make refined quartz out of quartz for the longest time in this game. That was actually a relatively recent discovery for me. Okay, I don't think I found the ladder, so... There it is. Oh, I did the slime thing, I think. I can go into the Adventurer's Guild. They'll let me in, finally. That'll be nice. any recent news about haunted chocolatier no actually um he did say that he didn't have an idea of when it would be coming out i i did see that he i mean this was months ago though that i saw that he posted music for it on youtube for like a boss fight i think it sounded cool but yeah no I honestly have kind of forgotten about it because I'm like, it'll come out when it comes out. If I'm looking forward to it and really anticipating it, then it'll feel like it's taking longer. So I'm just like, it'll happen when it happens. Boss fight music. Yeah, it had like a whole like enemy name for it. I forget what it was now, but it was cool. Pretty good at composing music. I actually just recently found out that there's so much. Can you, can you stop, please? Thank you. No, can you stop? <laughs> but he's really good at confusing, composing music. Sorry. I found out that there are so many songs that like I've never heard before because they're part of Junimo Kart. And who plays Junimo? Junimo Kart. Who hates themselves that much that they're gonna play through levels of Junimo Kart? Not me. No. I have self-respect. You're trying to be patient too? Yeah, just be like me and forget that it exists. Luckily, there's not, like, too, too much info out, so there's nothing to really get super excited for, like, to cling to, except 
Concerned Ape is making a new game, which is very exciting in and of itself, but there's no, like, mechanics or anything to be super, you know. I don't know. I think I'm really good at waiting for things. I don't tend to be a very patient person, but when it comes to releases, that's where I really shine. Okay, let's see if we can make it home. I kind of doubt it, so I guess... <sighs> I guess we pass out on the ground. The Mokar is so annoying, yes! And there are achievements on Steam. Luckily, I've played this game on Switch. There we go. There. I'm out. But I played this game on Switch pretty much since forever. I only recently got the PC version for mods. So I didn't care about the Steam achievements for e either of those games, but I hate both of the arcade games. I find them so frustrating. I have seen some of the like later levels of Junimo Kart and some of like the songs and some of the art. And I'm like, what? That's really cool. Don't go to sleep. That is really in this game. That is so cool. Too bad I will never see that in my actual game. Spirits are very displeased today. Well, it's just their problem, isn't it? Oh, inventory full. I have so much copper. That's great. Um away and take you out. So you have rice shoes. I suppose I could plant that. I don't know what else you I'd do with it. I have six geodes. Probably gonna crack those today. Um, I'll sell the rest of my cave carrots. Then I'll craft these. And I guess, I guess, hmm, yeah, I guess I'll just plant this little, little rice shoot here. I know if I planted it by water, it would be watered aut automatically, but there's no water nearby. It's just going to be more of an inconvenience. I'm going to water it myself and I'll be okay with that. Dad sent me money. Sick. Love that. Here are my three strawberry seeds. Here's three bags of strawberry seeds. These ought to help you during your first season. Farmers gotta stick together these days. That's sweet of him. And then I got billed 123G because I passed out. Ooh, kinda yikes. Okay, let's get a row going. petted you. You are very cute, though. Um, yeah. That's everything I wanted to sell. seed. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, I only have three earth crystals. So I will be able to buy a lot of strawberries at the festival. I need to save up for that. And then I'm gonna make furnaces. I think that's a good investment. And instead of furnace being here, I think it would look nicer lined up on the right side of the house. Yeah, kind of tucked away over here. It's nice. Usually I'll put it on the right side, but I don't, I don't think that's going to make sense on this farm. A little cheaper than an American copay. 
Yeah, honestly, healthcare in this game is so reasonable. Harvey could so overcharge. And no one would be able to complain because he's the only doctor in town. Like, what are you gonna do? Go to Zuzu City every time you get sick? Every time you want to check up? No. So pay up. But he's just too nice. Okay. I need another daffodil if I want to make spring seeds. Who do I still have to meet? Elliot? I swear I've seen Elliot. No, I must not have. Maru, Sebastian, and then you. It's actually not that many people. And then is there anything I can work towards? I guess I need to figure out who I'm gonna marry, which is gonna be the wizard. That's just how it's gonna be. I love that guy. You're gonna lurk? I appreciate that. Thanks for talking for chatting with me a bit. Good luck on your work. Hope all goes well. Each is a spring tree. Good luck with the dew, thank you. I'm gonna need it. I just planted the strawberry seeds that he gave me. I need to befriend Caroline. This one actually isn't as hard as it looks, I think. I just don't know what I'm gonna go for first. Or what to even work work towards. It's all a little overwhelming. Um I guess I need to figure out a peach tree at some point, but yeah. Alright, let's just head out, get some geodes cracked. Oh, and actually, before I forget, I want to bring a quartz for the wizard. He'll like that. He'll appreciate me. I hope. Love that guy. But yeah, we're gonna have to start working towards that. Sooner rather than later, especially since I know who I'm gonna marry. You know, no use putting it off. I also don't know what he really likes. I think he, I think he likes quartz, doesn't love them. Maybe he loves void essence and solar essence? I don't remember. May have to look into that. And what he likes in expanded too. I'll get Nekoite from one of these geodes, and I need that for the center. Well, no, but that's still good. Petrified slime. Celestine. Another Celestine. Hopper. Wait, I have a mod where I can like hold down the geodes. I don't have to individually click like I've like I'm doing, I think. Alright, I'll remember that. I have made my life easier and I'm not even taking advantage of it. Petrified slime gets me a new reward. Celestine does not, but it can still go to the museum anyway. Melon seeds, that'll be great for summer. Oh, okay, I did. I did not check that. I thought I did, but I just misclicked. That's good. Heading over to Wizard Man, my fave. My fave little guy, my fave little shut in. Oop. Hoping for trash can hat, honestly. Yeah, we're gonna want to start gifting that guy pretty regularly. And 
pick up any horseradishes we see. Honestly, I might just continue foraging after this. Since spirits are displeased anyway. Alright, hey. I have this for you. Love you. Many thanks. This item has some very interesting properties. Ah, uh, yes. I've seen many things about your future. Cool. Kind of weird, but to be fair, I say that about everyone I meet, too. I'm like, I know everything about you. I know your future. I know what you have done. I know what you will do. I know everything. So, I don't know. He's just... I guess it's just weird to have that energy thrown back at me, is all. Oop. Oh, I missed a horseradish, too. Such forage. Forage is actually such a viable strategy with expanded. Not so much. At least for money making. Aurora Vineyard gets a sign. Apparently, this used to be like part of Pelican Town. I wonder what happened. I wonder if I ever get to find out. I always figured there'd be like a story behind it. You know what I haven't done either? I haven't explored or gone into Grandpa's shed and gotten the quest from Robin. I should probably do that. I've just been ignoring that whole area down there from the bus stop. I mean, in my defense. Defense. Yep, don't know why I said it by, like that, but I'll commit. In my defense. <laughs> um, it's been a little overwhelming, is all. Should probably try to fish down here. This looks like a place that would have variety. Oh, and I can pick up these swords. Very nice. seeing too many more forageables over here. Kind of weird. Oh, there's a horseradish, so I guess that makes up for it. Go. Oh, and some mixed seeds I must not have picked up at one point when I was coming through. Stuff really does just stay on the ground forever. said hi to Hat Mouse either. <laughs> Hat Mouse sent me such a cute letter and I haven't even visited. Hello, Hat Mails. You have Sue Wester? That's nice. And we're back to Fairhaven. Are there any spring onions down here. Doesn't look like it. Huh. Okay. I guess fair enough. Oh, there's no path over there. I don't know why I thought there was, but I was kind of confident. Alright, we can head over to the right. I don't think I've been in this area yet. Willie's here? Sitting? Chilling? Well, not sitting, I guess. Boy there, taking a gander at the gem sea, are we? Oh, you're looking down. Yeah, it's beautiful. All I see is cliff. Oh, I can just enter your house. Hey. Uh, hello. Yeah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Do you need something? I'm- Oof, it is so awkward. I did not mean to, um, intrude as I snoop around some more wine cellar. What is this? 
This is Settlers of Ferngill, set up for three players. The game pieces are dusty. Aw, you don't have anyone to play with anymore? Sewing machine. You're not sure how to use it. Oh, what is this? You sell things? You sell sprinklers? Yo. I'm not gonna buy anything, I'm kinda broke. And then you have Blue Moon Wine. Sophia's handcrafted wine. Um, she has plus two luck. Sophia's aged handcrafted wine. From Blue Moon Vineyard. It comes in a prestigious basket in a with leaves with a shiny bow to wrap it all together. Makes a wonderful gift. Yeah, I think this is supposed to be a universally loved gift, actually. So. Uh, that's cool, I guess. And it's iridium quality, you can tell because of the purple star. Good for her, making her way. He is working on an outfit with dark brown leather. Yeah, she cosplays. She's not like other girls. Alright, let's head to the beach. Beach. If there's any forgeables, which there are. Lovely. Oh, and there's Elliot. I need to say hi to him. Hey! Oh, he's so cute. He's not at a side view anymore. Which is so nice, he doesn't look prestigious like he's looking down on me anymore. I'm kind of new to this town myself, but I really feel at home. I moved here only a year before you. Oh, That's cute. We're both kind of new. Yeah, I think we're good with forgeables. Oh, and Maru, I also have to say hi to you. Oh, she's cute. Whenever I'm struggling with a technical problem, I always take a walk. It's surprising how much of a change of scenery can help. For you. Glad to hear it. And then Gus, which is what you selling? What's your dish of the day? Salmon dinner. Uh I'm good. Emily is so cute. <laughs> it really truly is. I love how this side of the bar is open and expanded. It makes it so much easier to get over here. Have I told you Haley and I are sisters? Strange, isn't it? Yeah, you are nothing alike. You're actually nice and fun to be around. Anyway, I guess it's time to head home. Is there any special order? There is not. You know what? I missed a birthday. Yeah, I missed Lewis's birthday. Sorry. Sorry, Lewis. And then... yeah. Not gonna be able to plant anything else before the spring egg festival. I could have if I had planted parsnips today, but I don't know how much more money that would have made me, honestly. So I think we'll just be good with our 2200 by 22, and we'll be good with that. Okay, you know what? Tree's blocking my way. I'm just gonna take the little teleport thing. I don't care. Tree can't stop me. I don't need to keep you, so I'll sell you. Same with you, and same with you. You can go in this chest because we won't need you until summer. Melon seeds, anyway. Oyster will keep. Horseradish, all regular qualities of forageables we'll keep, and then sell everything else. Yeah. Probably should have kept the common mushroom, but I wasn't paying enough attention, so we'll find another one. Um, as for this, we'll plant, or we'll craft two more sets of spring seeds. Sell those. Uh, please don't block the door. Uh, 
teleported. It was in front of the door staring at me and then it was on the bed, cuddled up like it never did anything. Like it never went anywhere. Okay, sure. Okay, I have doubled my profits. So actually I do have a lot of money for the egg festival. Very exciting. What's my luck? Somewhat mildly perturbed. That has been a lot of bad luck days so far. <laughs> I pause when I need to like readjust or anything because I don't want to waste down time or anything if I'm not actively doing something in the game. That's why I just pause randomly. Well, let me refill since I'm over here. We'll water the crops we have. Potatoes are looking close to done. Melons are definitely gonna be a while longer. Everything is watered, everything is taken care of. So, let's dump some copper ore into the furnaces, all three. And, what is the plan for today? What is it that I am going to work on? Um, I might, honestly, I might just clear the farm today. And maybe gift the wizard. Yeah. Wizard, single, love that. All right, yeah, I'll gift the wizard and then clear the farm, I think. It'd be nice to have some of the debris moved and gone. as I run into it over and over again on my way to see the wizard off to see the wizard wonderful wizard I wouldn't have picked someone convenient although to be fair you know what the wizard is kind of not the worst person to try and find a gift he's a little far but he's always in the same spot, pretty much. He never leaves his wizard tower except to be weird at festivals. All right, here you go. You have nothing important to tell me, leave me be. I have much work to do. Okay. I love it when he doesn't want to talk to me. It makes me feel so special and important. come to love me in due time. I will crack through his rough exterior. He probably has a soft side. No, he probably actually doesn't. He is probably exactly how he seems on the surface. And I mean, I'm okay with that. I respect that. Nope. My cat almost got crushed by the tree. Oh, there it was a leak hiding behind a pine tree. Wow. That's why we really need to clear out this debris. Nice, just clearing out the farm. 
I kind of really do like clearing out the farm. I find it very satisfying. Clearing debris in any game like this is one of my favorite things to do. space. Getting rid of the pretty pink tree. There's another mod I used to have installed called the bug net where you used to be able to just catch these and sell them. It was a little broken because the bug net was kind of cheap to buy from Pierre's and in the early game, selling the bugs is actually such a really good source of money. They don't sell for a lot, they sell for like 75g or something, on average from what I could tell. But if you sell a lot of them, and you can get a lot of them from just chopping down trees because they'll pop out, you can make some pretty good money. Anyway, I uninstalled it. I don't know, it just, it, it seemed like a lot. It didn't really add much to my game, so no reason to keep it, really. Anyway, let's keep clearing. It is a fun one to try out, though, for sure. of energy. Honestly, I am just gonna use one of my salads. I don't know. Might be a bit of a waste, but I would like to keep clearing. And I can buy more. Easy. Yep. Chomp that salad. Plate and all. Alright. Last of my ore to smelt. I like smelting everything I have just to have the bars on hand instead of having tons and tons of ore and no bars when I need them. I just find it much more convenient that way. Oh, look at my cat taking a little nap. It's so cute. Yeah, look at all those butterflies that just pop out because I started chopping down a tree. do it to squirrels and birds too which is cool but yeah like I said didn't really enhance my gameplay I never thought to myself hey what if I could catch those butterflies that are decoration and pretty and flying around you know what else I haven't done yet well, first of all, now that I say that, I remember about the shed, so I'll definitely go visit that today. But I haven't visited my farm cave yet. Which is modded! Look at this! So, actually, you know how I've been eating a ton of food to get energy? I can just take a dip in here. And it's replenishing. I don't know it's kind of nice and it's pretty down here i think i'm gonna go for mushrooms i don't think it'll necessarily be better especially with the peach i'm gonna need it from the community center and the fact that mushrooms spawn pretty regularly but i just want to keep the mushroom came cave pretty free down there and i know from experience that fruit will spawn in the water part and I find that so annoying and inconvenient. Like, if it just spawned in the top part, it would be fine. No, so mushrooms it is. And mushrooms will be a good source of money, so. It's fine. Okay, I pretty much have cleared this top part out. Let's keep going.
definitely gonna make it to the egg festival before I end stream, but I don't know how much longer I'm gonna go after that. Maybe like, I don't know, depending on how long it takes me to get there, I probably will just end at the egg festival, or after the egg festival, I mean, like on the 14th. I think that would be a good place to stop. Progress I've made. Yeah, I've cleared out the top part, so I think I'm going to head over to the shed area and see what that's all about, seeing as I haven't yet. I need to be teleporting more. <laughs> I keep forgetting that's a thing. I keep not doing it. Oh, I can't until I break these logs. Interesting. Okay, I need an iron axe then. Those didn't used to be there if you didn't get grandpa's- Did I just walk through that tree? What? Okay, I guess don't question it. But those didn't used to be there if you didn't choose grandpa's farm, which is the farm that comes with Stardew Valley expanded if you choose to download it. And that makes it so that there are tons of additional stuff on the farm. It connects to the valley in a very interesting way, which can be super fun. I didn't like it because I found the layout too constricting. Like I found it, there are fences on the farm and it really does kind of dictate where you should put your animals and all that. And I don't know. Also, there was something weird with like the exits to where it was zoomed out and you couldn't actually put the path all the way off the screen. And I don't know, that was just too much for me. I didn't like the weird ending. I don't know if you know what I mean, but it, it bothered me at least. But yeah, it's a really cool farm for sure. And grandpa's shed actually spawns on it. It's unmovable if you choose to take it so wherever it spawn or wherever it goes on the farm is where it stays forever kind of like the greenhouse used to be and it spawns with i think either a meteorite blocking it or the two logs and that didn't used to happen if you didn't choose it it used to just be open so i could get to it from day one but they added it recently probably for balancing purposes which is good because there's really no reason I should be able to access it bef on day one. Yeah, we'll work towards the iron axe for sure. I mean, we have to for the secret woods anyway. I'm gonna need a fiddlehead fern at some point. energy again. I guess I'll go back to the cave? I mean, might as well. Eh, no, it's not really worth it. It's gonna take too much time to replenish energy. I might as well just go to bed, honestly. I'm kinda done clearing anyway. Well, I feel done with clearing. I might open up the other side of the beach tomorrow. I have enough wood. Ooh, level 3 foraging. I get the tapper. Not only the tapper, but the dehydrator and the drying rack. Drying rack is probably related to meat. Fortune teller. Ah, yes. I can hear the spirits whispering to me. Spirits are neutral. Great. Alright, what's in my mail? Dear Juniper, how is your work going as you restore the farm? No doubt you must feel a bit more connected to nature as opposed to before you first arrived in town. Since you've shown interest in a more hands-on approach to living, here's a recipe for homemade brown sugar. Now you can really say you're cooking from scratch. Brown sugar? Lewis, you shouldn't have. Thank you. How do I make brown sugar? Maple syrup and sugar. Oh, cool. So cool. 
all this stuff? Everything. It's also Vincent's birthday. I don't think I have anything for him except maybe a dandelion, so I guess I'll give that to him. I mean, might as well. It's better than nothing, anyway. Neutral luck is better than bad luck. I definitely have to give Vincent a present. I think mining is gonna be the goal for today. But let's get my one remaining salad. And a daffodil, as I said. And let's go see about finding Vincent. It's a little early, but whatever. maybe also um, buy some more salad. Uh, no, it's too early for that, too. So yeah, no, I guess we'll just look for Vincent and heal. I also love this like slight detail of making this fence too wide so that your horse can get through so much easier because your horse can only get through too wide gaps. Although not through here, but you know, it's still cool. It's locked. Well, that makes sense. It's a little early. But yeah, I've already missed two birthdays. Usually I don't forget Lewis's. This is usually the one I can always remember, because it's the very first one. Yeah, let's just check the garbage. He's advertising. Which is funny, because the only people walking by him are the people who already work for him. So, what, what does he think he's doing? Oh, he's in front of Pierre's, that's why to steal work or business a birthday gift that's very kind of you i love it cool i want to look for bugs but mom gets mad when i'm all dirty it's a tough choice yeah sometimes you gotta make sacrifices vincent that's what it means to be an adult you gotta make the hard choices it won't be too long until you have to work a nine to five soul gets sapped from you until you decide that maybe life in the middle of nowhere farming making your own money would be better oh I just picked up a gold daffodil I could have given him hmm that's fine he can deal he should be appreciative regardless I also have literal trash that I guess I could have given him, but I feel that would have been mean. But who's to say? Oh, I can also maybe enter the Adventurer's Guild? Actually, I don't think so. I think it's gonna be closed. It opens late, doesn't it? Yeah, open 12 to 10, so no. Probably not, actually. Oh well. Another time. Literally because I have no choice. Oh, the dark floors? No! I didn't know we were at the dark floors already. I hate these. Just get me out of here, honestly. And with an infestation? This is the worst day of my life. Although the infants if yeah, wow. The infestation is actually lighting up the floor. Which is kind of funny. 
I guess it wasn't that bad. I'm still gonna be dramatic about it, though. Because I don't deserve that. Let's go right instead of continuing down, because I can't see. Yeah, that was the right choice. So I found the ladder. And there's no copper either, like hardly any. That was the one copper note. I just want to get out of these dark floors as soon as possible. Get me the ladder. There it is. Right after I asked for it, too. Oh, another infestation? But I don't deserve this. I just said. If one of you doesn't drop the ladder... They're all coming really quick, too. So there's no... There's no time to break and hit a rock, which is what I would normally do. Okay, infestation is over, which is unfortunate because it was actually providing me light, and now I can't see any of them. I can't see this last bat. Okay, anyway, moving on. After I was so rudely interrupted. Here, please. I don't want a geode, I just want out. There it is. Okay, there's the elevator. I'm gonna drop everything off. Yeah, not much. That's not the purpose of these floors. The purpose of these floors is to escape. There it is. More quick ladders, please. If you would. I'll also take copper on the way, I don't mind. Oh, I can't, okay, the ladder was in the dark. I have to rub up against the area that I've just hit the rock from to make sure a ladder didn't spawn there. It's so dark. Come on. There we go. Okay, this is a coal floor. Where are you? Just let me hit you. Luckily, I have this forest sword. I think it would be so much more miserable without it. Hey, Matt. How have you been? I am suffering. Oh, there's a torch. Should I take that just to just to have some light. And I'm out of energy because I keep hitting every rock to try and find the ladder. I have to take my salad already. You just woke up. Good morning. I woke up a while ago. I'm probably gonna go to bed after this stream. Our sleep schedules are opposite now. It's kind of funny. My plan after I get off in like half an hour, probably. I'm planning on going till the egg festival, but yeah, after that, I'm probably gonna eat some leftover pasta and lay down and take a big old nap. Sounds great, doesn't it? But yeah, I'm glad to see you. You're gonna be playing Sarda today? Vanilla? Love that plan. It's such a good plan. Oh, there's a free ladder here. In the dark. How was I supposed to see that? But it's okay. We're out. I'm free. I don't have to deal with that anymore. I never have to go back until I start a new save, inevitably. 
But yeah, I've been wanting to play Stardew so badly for so long, but I've been putting it off because like I've been trying to finish Spirit Bearer. It's been taking me too long. And I've been trying to uh, alternate Al Octopath Traveler. Warm up to ESD. thing about my sleep schedule rotating I, I miss people's streams that I used to be pretty regular at until I cycle back around My luck isn't great today, but just until time ends, or until it gets later, until I run out of energy, whichever happens first. Oh, and some dust sprites. Yes, I will kill you. I will take your lives. One by one. You try doing Stardew one to two times a week? That would be nice. Stardew isn't something I necessarily, like, want to do regularly, but sometimes I just really crave it, you know? Sometimes I'm just really, really in the mood. And I was especially in the mood for, like, a modded playthrough, because I've been doing a lot of vanilla. That's what I'm doing. Reaching my dreams. Sorry, I'm in a really weird headspace. I am kind of tired. So. Yeah. My last Octopath stream was very chaotic because of how tired I was. And I was trying to defeat a boss that I found really difficult. Well, energy is low. Can I can I test it? That's eleven. Nine. <laughs> Seven. Okay, good. I'm not gonna try it anymore. But yeah, I was doing a really difficult boss, so it was just so chaotic. Couldn't keep myself together. Been on a Stardew kick lately? Me too. Your viewers love napping. I guess it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to have your stream up while I sleep. I mean, a view is a view. Don't know if I'll manage it though. I sl I like tend to hibernate. I'm- I say I'm gonna go take a nap, and then I go to sleep for, like, ten hours. So. Should I- should I put this- should I put this here? That'd be cute. No, it wouldn't be cute. But it can stay there anyway, I guess. Not doing anything wrong. I suppose it's time to go to bed. I would really like to get to the egg festival pretty soon. Ooh, the eggs are gonna be different. So I won't be able to just run through like I normally do and get my 13 eggs. That'll be fun, that'll be interesting, that'll be fresh. Your stream vibes are comfy. I don't know about like helping with sleep or anything, but I always feel really chill and relaxed when I watch you. Your 
they're also really fun, is the thing. Full chest again. Ooh, okay. Do be running out of space. Should I keep this gold daffodil as a gift? Uh, I might, honestly. Haley's birthday is coming up, so I'll save it for her. That's your goal? If it's your goal, you're obtaining it. Just want cozy vibes and some chaos sometimes. God, isn't that what everyone hopes for, though? like to think I'm a cozy person, but honestly, I think in reality, I'm just more chaotic than anything. Spirits are my- Ooh, my luck on this file is infuriating. All I've been getting is mildly perturbed, neutral. Like, I've gotten one maybe good luck day. Morning, Juniper just dropped by to warn you about those crows flying about. Don't worry, Andy. I know. I know about it. That's why I have a scarecrow. I woke up to see him flocking over my crop field. Had to scare a few off. Yeah, scarecrow, right there. I think your farm is fine. I live right by that there forest, so I get a lot of them roosting in the trees. Darn crows. Aw. Yep, there they are, darn scavengers. But looks like they aren't nibbling at your crops like they did mine. It's called a scarecrow. I'm telling you. Would be a good idea to build more of them scarecrows. Might not be a bad idea to build a few myself. I'll go get started. Good luck farming. I love that he's just trying to give me advice. He also gifted me strawberry seeds, so I mean, we're besties. We're good. Cozy chaos. I can vibe with that. I don't mind. Just axe. I also don't really play as many cozy games as I thought I would when I first started streaming. Like, I got really into Octopath. All of these can go. Yeah. Don't need them. Why are you in here? You do not belong in that chest. That is not how my organization works. You go here. Okay, hopefully I'll have like a ton of money when strawberries roll around. Oh, I didn't water the cat. Silly me. Oh, you're a tree up here that I didn't chop down. Some of the trees blend in and I think they're decoration. So, I guess that one can stay. For now. Alright, what's the plan for today? What am I going to do with myself? Um, I don't have a lot of clay. Why is that? Usually I have so much more by now and I can get a silo. I guess I could crack some geodes. That wouldn't be terrible. Then... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe just forage. Or clear out my farm. Those are kind of my options. I'm kind of waiting out the days until egg festival, honestly. That's what I'm saving all my money for. Oh, uh, lost axe, of course. And then how is wizard doing? I got him his two gifts. He's fine. He knows I like him. 
Whoa, look at all this forage up here. All these dandelions. And Claire, hello. Can't say that I know too much about Pelican Town. Sorry, I should be going. Yeah, I wouldn't want to keep you or anything. Don't worry. She seems sweet. I do really like the Stardew girlies, don't I? They're all my faves, like Emily and Leah. Honestly, the only Stardew guys I even like are Harvey, so. Maybe they should just step up. Oh, I guess Sebastian is cool. Green algae, okay. I love getting green algae, my favorite. Oh, it's so useful and helpful. Yeah, Matt, I do know Sebastian is your favorite. He's a good one. I don't know why I forgot about him. You missed it, but earlier this stream, I was gushing over Emily nonstop because I married her recently in another save and realized she's just really good. Really underrated. Oh, also, actually... Side note, related to things I was talking about earlier, would you like to see my bundles? Because they are cursed. So, we got <laughs> spring foraging, which is... It's something. I gotta get a peach, which I believe is a spring tree, so I can't even plant it and wait. I think so, anyway, yeah. No, maybe it's a summer one, but whatever. It's, yeah. I got a wilted bouquet, so I have to get someone to want to date me so it shows up in Pierre's. These things will be relatively easy. Um, I already have a sardine. Construction bundle? I have to get an iridium bar. Like, okay. <laughs> I have to befriend Caroline? Who does that? Escargot? <laughs> Yeah, I downloaded a mod that randomizes, so it's just, I, yep, yeah, I have to get a stone. One singular stone for exotic foraging bundle. I have the cranberry sauce, I bought that from the traveling cart because it gives you plus two mining, and I thought that would be good. Turns out it's a part of a bundle. Skeletal hand, omelet, like, what? Um... Summer foraging hops, I guess, would be easy. Marble is so random. Yeah, not the iridium bar. That's the worst one. Because the worst part is, too, I have to unlock at least one of these bundles to unlock more rooms. So I'm really just stalled here before until I figure out how to get some of these. Look at squid ink. <laughs> squid ink. Okay. So I either have to like kill an octopus or not an octopus, a squid. Kill an octopus, wow. No, catch a squid or get a squid kid? I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where to start with this. I. <laughs> yeah. That's what I did to myself. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be so fun. Honestly, I literally don't remember when the peach happens. I guess if it it's summer, I should buy it now, and then that would be the quickest bundle to finish. Well, no, because of the bouquet, but that's why I'm trying to like befriend the wizard because I know I want to marry him. Yeah, I got my work cut out for me, to say the least. But okay.
is definitely a problem for future me. I also wanted to repair the beach bridge, so I might do that. Actually. That's actual madness. Yeah. When I downloaded the randomizer, my hope was A, that it would be fun for me and kind of like change up the way I play, which it will. I mean, how could it not? But like my secret hope was that it would make some things easier. I I, I, und I understood that it would make some things like, really hard like it has, but I didn't think it'd make everything super hard. See, there's a little quest. But yeah, I'm just kind of pretending it doesn't exist a little bit. Pretending like it isn't as big of a problem as it is because I'm so overwhelmed I don't know what I'm going to do about it. Oh, hey, Elliot. Uh, it's like, hey, Juniper. Yeah, the randomizer really said suffer. What, what, what are you? A conch? If you put it to your ear, you can hear the ocean. Sick. That's my new hobby, listening to shells. Oh, they're kissing. <laughs> Look at them, they're so sweet. Oh, love that for them. Let's fix the bridge. So cute. Yeah, I don't want to disturb them. Oh, also, do you notice my green shoes? They're so drippy. They only give me plus one immunity. I have leather boots that give me plus one defense and plus one immunity, but like, how could you resist the green shoes? I couldn't. But yeah, I'm defenseless at the moment because I wanted to look cute. Sometimes you just gotta make sacrifices. You support green shoes? Thank you. I do too. I usually don't wear them. But I don't know, today they're just kind of they're just kind of a vibe. I mean, they match my eyes. So there's that. Hey, Andy. Uh hello there. Yeah, all my interactions with people are so awkward. We just say hi. And then we can't come up with any other conversations. Yikes. Sam, 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 please talk to me, please. Sam got so cute in whatever mod this is. Like, look at his hair. It's like reasonable now. And he has a green sweater on or a green jacket. Like, if I wasn't so into the wizard, I don't know. I think it'd be Sam. Clouds look great this time of year. Oh God, he's talking to me about the weather. I need to befriend these people quick. I cannot bear this small talk much longer. <laughs> IRL trying to talk to people? Exactly. I don't need it in my games, too. Okay, you know what? Actually, I'm all over the place. I don't know what I'm doing. That's the thing. I'm just... Okay, but what I want to do right now is I actually want to go check Pierre's and I want to see the peach sapling. I want to make sure whether or not it's in spring or summer and if that's something I need to work towards right now. There's no way I am completing this in year one. There's no way, but it would be nice. Uh, bears fruit in the summer. So yeah, I need to, after I get my strawberries, peach sapling, I think. Oh, but also look at all this stuff I have, like basil seeds, cabbage seeds, parsley, 
there's all these extra trees like fragrant wisteria i am so excited to plant this and it's kind of cheap too i'm not gonna buy it right now granny smith persimmon some stuff down here too some flowers there's some um artisan goods i guess like nutmeg and pepper chewing gum i guess uh okay there's also some meat sa meat seeds that i can do and plant like artificial meat but i think i'm gonna remove this mod because it breaks a lot of stuff i don't know we'll see but yeah there's that love everything about this i might like i i should probably like put together the mod list i'm using because it's, it's a lot of stuff there's also stuff here i love showing it off too like it's not even like my mod i just have it like i didn't make it oh you're selling spicy eel <laughs> how can i say no spicy eel is everyone's fave but look he sells a lot of more recipes now like tons of tea like i need to befriend caroline asap but yeah there's like question marks there i don't know what that is uh kind of broken and i don't know how to fix that um lavender milk tea i love milk tea so good peanut butter there's alcohol here the saloon sells real alcohol besides beer incredible incredible and i can really just ruin my speed slow myself down isn't that wonderful isn't that everything we ever wanted speed debuffs um hot cocoa recipe hot irish coffee miso starter oh and actually there's tequila too which is fun there's tons of cute little dessert recipes like this is shaped like a bunny <laughs> there's this cola that gives plus one but plus one luck and it's just here yeah we love the speed debuffs it's everything we ever wanted there's cookies shaped like things there's a cupcake cat. This is the best thing ever. A heart lollipop. You're like the third person I've shown this to so far and I'm like still so excited about it. Wisteria popsicle. Ah. And then a ton of like meat stuff and he sells the actual cooked meat too, which is cool, I suppose. Yeah. A ham recipe. I can cook ham okay i didn't know that was a thing i had to make i thought that's just how it happened but sure yes love that but yeah it's really great i'm so pleased that's why i was so excited to play stardew i was um changing around a lot of my mods last night and i was up just buzzing to play i also have a different like farm layout you probably saw yeah, tons of stuff. Yeah, I'll definitely make a mod list. Probably. I don't know. Who's to say when I procrastinate everything? But I'll try my best. Uh, I see eel can go in there. Love that for me. And then I guess clear the farm bit late is there anything else i want to do probably not <laughs> i can walk behind the house Ugh, I don't like these little junky trees. Sometimes I leave them, and honestly I probably should because it'd be nice to have them later to chop down, but I don't feel like it, so I won't. Oh, I just noticed there's little like fence posts in the water, taking off the waterfall or something, or limiting the flow. That's cool. 
at me, finally exploring my farm. Yeah, it feels like there are so many things to do and so many things that I need to do as well. But the point of everything I installed and doing this in general was to like make it so it felt like a new game to me because I feel like I know this game in and out and I'm a walking wiki by now. I just I just wanted to I just wanted to try and simulate an experience that like a new player might have. Like I don't know anything. The community center seems hard. I love that. I haven't felt like that since I first picked up this game. very pleased with myself to say the least but yeah I'll probably try and cut down this three until I'm out of energy and then I'll go to bed and then we'll be one day closer to egg festival the last of it. That's the last thing I'm going to cut down. That's the last thing I'm going to do with my energy. I also haven't picked up Grandpa's note. I kind of just like how it looks. Just being there. Just chilling. I don't know what happens if you don't collect it by the time he comes to give the evaluation, but I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Off to bed it is. It's late. Ooh, mayonnaise machine level two farming. I will get more when I harvest my strawberries that I'm going to plant soon. Very excited for that. I actually made a fair bit of money. I'm going to be able to get so many strawberry seeds. I'm going to have to water like all day. It's going to be great. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to, you know, buy 50 strawberry seeds. That seems kind of excessive. Okay, what is it? Ugh, of course. Of course it's bad luck. Why would it be anything else? <sighs> Tomorrow's egg festival at the very least. I bet on egg festival day when I'm gonna be busy, it's gonna be good luck. Cause that's just how it goes. Oh, I love that I stand on my little tiptoes as I water. That's like nothing new, but I just, it's, it's cute, you know? Let me water you. Also, you know what? I have so many things I could craft. I wonder if any would be like, if any, if I can craft any and if any would be like profitable. I have this, 45 sli stone and 20 slime. But like, if I'm gonna put fruit in anything, it's gonna be a keg. So, I mean, yikes. Um, flowers, herbs, or vegetables in here to dry them for later. Yo, and that's easy to make. The wood, 20 fiber. Maybe I'll make that. Be fun. I don't really have anything to put in it though. Um, this is also relatively easy. It takes a lot of slime. Iridium ore, or iridium bar and large milk. That's expensive. Huh. There's a smoker. It's used to smoke fish. Does that raise the value at all? Alright. I don't think I'm gonna bother with that yet. That's kind of a lot. Um. Probably a foraging day. Honestly, 
And then Wizard is all gifted up, so we can't do anything with him. Yeah, just gonna head around town and see how things are. And run into everything. I could have teleported too. I keep forgetting about that, because like, why is that a thing? Like, it's cool and all, I guess, but also it's kind of unnecessary too. Maybe I'll appreciate it more later. When I actually remember to make use of it. Teleport thing. Anyway, how are we doing on birthdays? Nope. Birthdays, please. Birthdays, please. Uh, Haley's is on the 14th. I have a gold daffodil lined up for her. And then Olivia's, and I don't know what she likes. Because <laughs> she's kind of... I'm not familiar with her as a person. I don't know. I guess I'll just figure something out. The best of my ability. And I'll search through her trash can. Hey, Morris. You make me uncomfortable. Oh, also, I don't think they have a trash can in this. Doja? Huh. Okay. Maybe it moved over to the this house that would be funny if you can only have a limited amount of trash cans i don't know maybe they wanted to keep it the same amount as vanilla for some reason oh well, i'm kind of getting nothing out of any of these garbage cans Still nothing. Boop. Okay. I'll forage on the beach a little. Who, who do I have to meet? I get so distracted. I'm like, wait, but I could also do this thing. Sebastian and Martin are the last two people I gotta meet. All right, it'll happen when it happens. Probably at Egg Festival. really good with meeting everyone else all right nothing on the beach probably i literally forged on it yesterday i wonder if forgeables can appear here on this little beachy area that could be fun hey you're looking in your chest i get that i do the same thing i wonder what gus is making for the egg festival tomorrow um Probably egg salad, right? It normally does. Oh, the lost axe. Remember when I said I was going to do that and then forgot about it? Yeah, I do too now that I see it. Oh, I should probably go and get this back to Robin, huh? Alright, I'll make a run around regular Cindersat Forest and then head up to Robin's, but I won't go into the, like, extra part of the forest because I think that'll drain a lot of time. I'll, I'll maybe come back for it later, though. Oh, there's a daffodil. Or not a daffodil, a dandelion. I keep getting those mixed up. Like, I know the difference between them and everything, it's just the words come out wrong. That's not my fault. We'll start with a DA, so... Anyone could mix those two up. The wizard's doing well. Oh, traveling cart! I totally forgot about the traveling cart. I haven't missed a day, but man, I really forgot about that. Iridium ore. Okay, cool, cool. Duck feather. Cool. Um, I don't think I want any of these. 600 for a bomb. That's actually, I think, pretty much the same price the dwarf sells it at. No, I don't want it. I don't want anything you're selling. So it wouldn't have been the worst thing in the world if I had missed her, but still. Better to know. Alright, let's head on up.
try and clear a bit of the farm, apparently. Things are getting a little overgrown. I might come back and clear the farm, actually, once I take care of Robin. I don't know, I just- I just want the debris gone so bad. It would give me peace of mind, at the very least. Oh, I don't need anything. I just... I, you asked for this. Hey, you found my axe. What a relief. I almost chopped my toe off with the other one I was using. Okay. Do you have anything? Anything good? Probably not. You have a cute little box lamp. It is not wise to buy furniture. But you are selling cute furniture. Calendar... Telephone. Um. Oh, the pads are kind of cute. Um, I'm probably gonna start with none of them. <laughs> yeah, I changed my mind. I don't want anything. Thanks, though. Oh, yeah. I got 250G for that. Oh! Oh! Minus wants a dandelion. I have a dandelion in my inventory, and I'm right up in the mountains. Minus, buddy, where are you? I have what you wanted. I almost forgot to give it to you, but I'm here now. Here. Hey, you brought me the item I asked for. Thank you. Look at me go, helping people out. Too bad. All right. I'm going to take the teleport this time. It kind of makes the same noise as opening a door. Sell these, they're not gonna be worth too much. But then I grabbed the sword. I'm used to grabbing what I need for the mines, honestly. Okay, I see a leak up there too, which I want, of course. So I will take. Uh, can I chop you? Yes. We're in a really nice spot, so I kind of thought that this tree was kind of here. This farm is really pretty. They did a good job with it. I'm glad I downloaded it. It's kind of the first modded farm I've come across that I'm like, hmm, I actually do kind of really like this one. I think this is a farm I could play on. I, did, I don't know, I find a lot of modded farm layouts or have some sort of problem with them. Maybe I'm just too picky. I don't know. It could just be a me problem. But I do like this one. Fiber, chop down all the trees. All the debris. I just love the look of an empty farm.
don't know. Clearing the farm is a really good way of getting resources. That's kind of a, the biggest reason for me why the fishing farm for vanilla doesn't work. Because there, there's not enough debris on it. It's too small, so you can't get enough wood from it. I feel like I've complained about this before, but yeah, I usually depend a lot on the wood I get from clearing out the farm to start me off. It's just not good enough. But let's get rid of this leaf. And... We sleep. Is there anything I can do in here? No, I still only have one to do, Lion. But I gave one to Linus. Yeah, early night. Let's just call it. I am excited for Egg Festival and just want to get to that. I'll be honest. I live to destroy kids and their hopes and dreams. Okay, it really doesn't matter what the fortune is. I'm going to the Egg Festival. Water my crops first and then I'll probably like Um, till an area for the strawberries I'm gonna get. And then it doesn't really matter if I water them or not. I think I'll still be able to grow. So let's go one more out. And then till out a row. Well, I guess I gotta clear the grass first. It's a little in the way. I'm gonna get 60. I have a lot. I probably won't get 60. I'll probably get like 50, maybe. Um, I think the scarecrow can cover this. I don't know. I guess I could always build a new one. Yeah, maybe I'll build a new one, honestly. I didn't count. Mm, okay, one coal, fiber, and then another scarecrow. Okay. And then I guess I could pre water it too. And then count. So one, two, three. I'm not gonna count out loud. Because I know this is nine dials. Math, truly. Buddy, you're kind of in the way. Oh no, I guess you're not. I can still water it. Okay, egg festival has begun. I guess we'll figure it all out later. That is a problem for future me, as I always say. Just pretend the problems don't exist. Okay, let's try our best. And get strawberry seeds. So... Mmm. Juan Flamingo, Plush Bunny. Those are really cute. Um, ooh, I want this pastel banner. I always like to get these. So, I got it. Because you can only get those from festivals, okay? I can't help myself. And then... I suppose... I'll get... Honestly, maybe just 30? really don't want to be watering them constantly. Oh, but 50 would be really nice. I'll get 50. I'm making really impulsive decisions here. But yeah, okay, 50. That'll do. Okay, who do I gotta say hi to? I know Sebastian, and then... Let's see. Sebastian and Martin. Okay, where are you two? Sebastian is over here with his friend group that... Victor, I think 
think that's his name, has embedded himself into. Good for him. We used to do a rotten egg toss. Mary Lewis put an end to that pretty quick. Yeah, I, I imagine he would. Does Martin even come to this? <gasps> no, because he's not really a resident of Pelican Town. Mm, hmm. Yes. That makes sense. Yeah. Claire isn't here either, and neither is Morris. Well, it's not great, I guess. <sighs> I was really counting on that, actually. Well, all right then. I'll have to figure out Martin another time. Harvey, talk to you. I like you. Eggs definitely have a place in the well-balanced diet. I love eggs. Deviled eggs, hard-boiled eggs, over-easy eggs. So yummy. Okay, let's start the egg hunt. Okay, I'm gonna try my absolute best to crush all these people. Let's just get to it. There's a lot more people competing. Everyone ready? Yes. The egg hunt begin. Okay, where are the eggs? I literally don't know. Okay, there's one. No. Oh, I see one over there, but it's kind of out of my way. Oh, that's not wise. I shouldn't have skipped it if I knew where it was. I see one in the graveyard, though. Um, is there one over... There's not one down there. Is one over here? Okay, I have four so far. Um... What about over here? I'm kind of following the edges by this point. Probably not the best. Hey, I found one. Sam, you can't have it. There's one in the dog area. Oh, this is not going well. I see one over here though. Okay, that's seven. And that's all I'm gonna get? <gasps> no, 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 I got that one. In the nick of time. Yeah. Okay, let's see if I won. Hi Maddie, by the way, how are you? You haven't streamed in a while, have you? once tell me who is it what i got seven whole eggs and still the children win vincent stares at a rock for a solid 30 seconds in the middle of that hunt how did he win rigged i deserved that hat doing good though. It has been a while. Yeah, I definitely noticed. Yeah, boo, Vincent. How dare the children win? Shameful. I don't know, I thought seven would be enough, honestly. Oh! This was more than enough space. I actually have one left over. That's kinda it's a little awkward, kind of ugly, but sure. If I had known, I would have just bought 49 instead of 50. I thought it would be good to buy an even number. Now I just feel like a clown. Okay, everything's watered. It's not that bad. Let me refill this before I put it away so that I don't regret it later. I have a cool 
purple pastel banner. Kind of sick. Can go there. <laughs> That's cute. I like that banner. Totally worth the money. Okay, but yeah. That was actually when I was gonna end. You know. Now that I lost hor horribly at the egg festival. I've been going for a while. I'm kind of tired. So, yeah. That's just gonna be it for me, honestly. Thanks everyone who stopped by, by the way. I'm gonna stream again on um, Thursday. It's gonna be Octopath Traveler. I'll try my best to be to do one or two more bosses in that game to try and progress. Yeah, sorry to end so soon when you just stopped by, Maddie, but it was good to see you still. Here for the mods? I'm going to make a mod list for sure. I don't know how, but I'll figure it out. I don't even know what mods I'm using for the most part. But yeah. I'm gonna get so much meat much needed rest now. Um, goodbye. <laughs>